you, Jesus. Praise you, Jesus. As the deer panted for the water, so my soul longeth after you, Lord. As the deer pants for the water, so my soul longs after you. You're all that my heart desires, Lord. And I long to worship you to worship as the deer panted for the water, the water so my soul, soul longeth longs after you you are all you are Lord, are my heart's desire and, and I long to worship you to worship Say that again as the deer parts. So my soul longeth for you. You are all that are my heart's desire. Long to worship you. Long it after you. You are all. You are my heart's desire. Long to worship you. You alone are my strength, Lord. You alone are my strength. My shield. To you alone. My spirit yield. You alone are my heart's desire. And I long to worship you. You alone are my strength, my shield, Lord. Come on. To you alone. May my spirit yield. You alone are my heart's you desire, Lord. Alone are my heart's desire and, and I long to worship you. To worship Tell him again, you are my strength, my shield, O oh Lord. You alone are my strength, my shield. To, to you, you alone, alone may my, may my spirit, spirit heal. You alone are my heart's desire. And I to worship you. Come on, tell him again. You are my strength, my shield. You alone are my strength, my shield. To you alone. You alone. May my spirit heal. You alone are my heart desires. Yes, Lord, it is my desire that I long to worship you. My friend, desire is the dominant seed for change in our life. You see, men rarely reach for what they need, but they will always reach for what they really want. If you truly desire miracles and blessings in your life, you must be willing to reach for them. I've always said the grapes of blessings are never placed within your mouth. They are simply placed within your reach. God respects a reacher. God rewards a reacher. I do not quite agree with the time when necessity is the mother of invention. Rather, I believe that desire is what gives birth to miracles. 
your desires are always more motivating than your needs i repeat again your desires are always more motivating than your needs if it was desire that inspired the right brothers to fly it was desire that motivated thomas edison to persist through 10000 experiments that failed before perfecting the light bulb the persistence of henry ford is legendary a popular story tells of his desire to create an engine with all eight cylinders cast in one block every engineer who worked for him insisted it was impossible however ford instructed them to pursue his project anyway and remain on the job until they succeeded 6 months later nothing had changed one year later those same engineers shook their heads dejectedly it's just impossible mr ford they said but henry ford possessed the determination and desire to succeed he pressed them to continue and suddenly it happened the secret was discovered the famous v8 engine became a reality ford's unwavering desire revolutionized the automobile industry how intense is your craving for your dreams to happen do you hate being poor you must despise where you are before you will ever be where you want to be the proof of desire is pursued what are you willing to invest your time and money towards reveals what you really want the real proof of your desire is what you are willing to pursue what do you love talking about what books excite you what receives your time and attention what dominates your thoughts my friend what you think about the most is what you have chosen to master you your joy children or mate or yes your dream seed what you think about the most is what you have chosen to master you the scriptures help us to understand the power of desire that's why the word says delight thyself also in the lord and he shall give you the desires of your heart whatsoever you desire when you pray believe that you receive them and you shall have them the proof of passion is the willingness to reach you must possess more than a need for your miracle you must possess true desire true enough to reach to your friends to you those around you reach out to everyone as jesus is your friend I love you more than any other. I love you more than any other. So, so much more than anything. Than anything. You're my friend. And you are my brother. My brother. Even though you are a king. You are a king. I love you more than any other, oh Lord. More than anything. You are my king, my brother, my friend. You are a king. I love you more than any other, so much more than anything. You are my friend. You are my brother. You are my king. You are my savior. You are my Lord. You are my God. You are my everything, Lord.
I love you much, much more, oh Lord. Yes, so much more, oh Lord. So much more than anything. Come on, tell the Lord, I love you. So much more than anything. I love you. I love you. Come on. So much more than anything. I love you, Lord. I love you more than any other. So much more than anything. Tell him again, I love you more. I love you more. So much more than anything. I love you. I love you more than any other. Than anything. I love you more than any other. So much more than anything. Come on, keep saying, keep saying, and believe as you are saying, I love you. More than anything, oh Lord, anybody, oh Lord, in this world. So much more than anything. Tell him again, I love you more than anybody in this world, oh Lord. You are the top priority in my life, oh Lord. So much more than anything. Lord be my spirit in you alone are my strength and my shame to you alone may my spirit be you alone are my strength and my shield oh Lord yes nobody else to you alone may my spirit be You alone are my strength. Come on, tell him, tell him, tell him. To you alone, may my spirit heal. Come on, tell him. One more time, one more time. You alone are my strength, my shield. To you alone, may my spirit heal. I love you more than I love you I love you I love you Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. You alone are my heart's desire. You alone are my heart's desire, Lord, and I long to worship you. You alone are my heart's desire, Lord. And I long to worship you. You alone are my heart's desire. Yes, Lord, you are my heart's desire. And remember, 
you will always reach for what you really desire whether we admit it or not but we often dive for the pennies of life instead of reaching for the high quality principles that god has intended for us to live by let the lord be magnified which has pleasure in the prosperity of his servants psalms 3527 Your desire will always make you go the extra mile push a little harder reach a little higher and that's what we see the fascinating picture in Mark chapter 5 a woman who had been afflicted with an issue of blood for 12 years she had spent all her money on physician and her condition had merely grown worse but she carried a seed of desire within her the desire is that she wanted to be healed she believed that if she could touch the garment of jesus she would be made whole the woman probably was in a very great pain undoubtedly the thronging crowd made it nearly impossible for her to reach jesus but she made it she touched him when you want something badly enough will somehow find a way to get it your desire your desire my friend your desire and she touched jesus's garment and straight away the fountain of her blood was dried up and she felt in her body that she was healed of that plague her need or sickness had to bow down to her desire that is the miracle of a healing her desire became the master of her need she forced need to whimper at the feet of desire desire one and healing came friend please believe me today you can defeat sickness you can conquer poverty and it all begins with that intense burning desire within you you must learn how to fuel the fire of your desire God has planted within you the desire for good things. God has planted the desire for a son deep within Abraham, and Abraham had to use his faith to make it happen. Desires are like people; they are born, they grow, and they die. So let your desire grow, a strong desire to fulfill the assignment. the purpose the dream the goal that god has set for you and tell the lord lord it is my desire to seek your kingdom your righteousness and all these things that i used to pursue will be added unto me thank you father for this amazing amazing truth thank you thank you so much father i thank you that this desire the seed is planted in each one's heart and it is bringing in the harvest come on plant it for the water so my soul long it after you you are my heart's desire lord and i long to worship you Yes, Lord. Plant it for the water. So my soul longeth after You, Lord. You are all that my heart's desire desires, O Lord. And I long to worship You. Come on, one more time, one more time. As the deer panteth for the water. So my soul longeth after you. You are all my desire, Lord, heart's desire. And I long to worship you. One more time. For the water. So my soul longeth after you. You are my heart desire Lord I 
and I long to worship you. As the deer panted for the water, so my soul longed for you. You are my heart's desire, O Lord. And I long to worship you. Yes, Lord, I long to worship you, Lord. Dear, thank you for the water. Tell him, tell him, Lord, my soul is longing for you, longing for your word, longing for your presence, O Lord. You are my heart's desire. Your word is my heart's desire. Reaching out to you, to your people, O Lord, in your kingdom is my heart's desire. And I worship you, Lord. And I worship you, Lord. I worship you. I worship you. As the deer panted for the water, so I'm panting for you. Your presence, your secrets, your revelation, your truth, O Lord, in my life. You are my heart's desire, O Lord, to walk in agape love. You are full of agape, Lord, and I want to walk in that agape love. This is my desire, O Lord. For giving everyone and reaching out to everybody, O oh Lord, as the dear panted for the water, so my soul longeth for you. Yes, 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 yes. So longeth after you. And your word, your word, your truth, your anointing, your spirit, O oh Lord, is my heart's desire, O Lord. And I long to worship you. I long to worship you in spirit and in truth, O oh mighty God. Yes, 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 Lord, as the And I long to worship you. Are my heart's desire, and I long to worship you. Come on, say it again. One more time. And I long to worship you. Thank you, Lord, for your heart's desire. We just heard how in Mark 5 the woman carried a dream in her heart and mind of a healing. If I may touch but its clothes, she said, I shall be made whole. She ignored the distraction of the crowd and reached for the dream within her and received a miracle. I want you to reject, ignore all the distractions that you're going through and reach out to the dream that is within you. Reach out to that promise that God has given you which is within you. You will never accomplish a great dream without a burning desire for it. You must feed that desire daily. You do this by continually visualizing the rewards and pleasures of its attainment. Yes, visualizing, imagining will fuel the fires of your desire for your dreams. Association, wholesome relationships can create a momentum towards your dream. It is exceedingly important to have the right kind of friends. Many people have lost motivation for the dream because they associated with faithless and foolish people. He that walks with wise men shall be wise, but a companion of fools shall be destroyed. Proverbs 13, 20 Do not expose your dream seed to those who do not have the faith mentality around you. Disregard unkind words of critics. Do not dignify their slander by repeating it. Criticism is usually the death gargle of a non-achiever anyway. Dare to reach for the championship of great thinkers. Invest in their books. Listen to their teachings, their preachings. Absorb their spirit and victorious attitude that have driven them to great achievement. Concentration. Focus on the completion of one worthwhile goal at a time. 
one of the most important things i have ever learned is to give total attention to one thing at a time many people allow their creativity to scatter their attention the ability is become lost through miss focus your creativity is a gift do not let it become your enemy harness it it is better to complete one worthwhile goal than to begin 10 others everyone will clamor for your attention and as harsh as it may seem you must learn to dismiss from your present those people who distract you from a god inspired goal remember your dream deserves your undivided attention disloyalty is a decision made to cause the failure of another disloyalty is an invisible silent and often unnoticed decision by someone close to you to destroy your dream and participate in your downfall this individual is the worst kind of enemy you will ever have in your life counter spies almost always receive life then sentences why because courts do not deal lightly with someone who is silent invisible destroyer of the nation in which they live a spy from another country will get off with a lighter sentence than a citizen whose disloyalty has caused the death of many it is absence of character a purposeful decision to use the information someone has to destroy his own nation the scriptures reveal the eventual judgment on those who are disloyal solomon had watched his father king david make the mistake of his lifetime the tolerance of disloyalty i would encourage you to read this unforgettable story from 1 kings chapter 2 solomon watched the tragedy unfold before his eyes on a daily basis disloyalty ignores the greatness in another absalom was the handsome son of david he envied the splendor popularity and prosperity of his father so he would stand and personally greet the people outside the palace each day like tiny drops of poison he fell his words fell into the ears of citizens of israel he sowed uncertainty doubt and discord that david was too busy to really listen to their concerns or care about their difficulties and tears he made himself available to them and literally stole the hearts of the people david had led for so many years one of the most wild acts became his habit he slept with his father's concubines absalom did not have a character flaw as absalom had no character he flaunted his sin he sneered at the greatness of his father oh father thank you for setting us free in jesus name let us repent and ask god to forgive us and make god the top desire of our life nobody else tell him again you alone are my heart's desire o oh lord Tell him again and again, Lord, you are alone. Am I heart's desire? Let us not destroy our character, our future that God has for us. Tell him one more time. You alone are my heart's desire, O Lord. Yes. Thank you, Jesus. Tell the Lord, you alone are my strength, my shield. Tell him again and again. You alone are my strength and shield. You alone. One more time. One more time. Come on. One more time. One more time. One more time. To you alone, my spirit yield. Come on, 
one more time to you alone to you alone may my spirit heal to you alone you alone are my strength and shield Lord my spirit heal You alone are my strength and shield You alone are my strength and shield You alone my spirit heal You alone are my strength and shield Do you alone my spirit heal You alone are my strength and shield. Come on. To you alone, my spirit. To you alone. To you alone, may my spirit heal. You alone are my strength and my shield, O Lord. Lord be my spirit heal You alone are my heart desire You alone are my heart desire And I long to worship you You alone are my heart desire And I long to worship you. You alone are my heart's desire. And I long to worship you. You alone are my heart's desire. And I long to worship you. Come on, keep saying and believe. Keep saying and believe the anointing of the Holy Spirit. is destroying everything that is corrupted in you and you are receiving your freedom come on this is the time of your freedom in the name of jesus every desire of god is planted and everything that is not of the kingdom of god is destroyed completely uprooted in jesus name amen You are the desire of our hearts this day. Lord, you are the desire of all the nations. And so Father, we gather here from many nations and, and many people. And we join our hearts together to say, Lord, that in everything we do this day, in every time we spend, in every thought we think, Lord, and every meditation that we are involved with, Lord, may it all be an act of worship to your great and glorious name. Blessed be your name, O oh God. Praise the Lord. My friend, little things matter. Small hinges control huge doors. Small keys unlock walls containing millions of dollars. In the same way, the very presence of God is, is so important in our life. Yes, this is the air I breathe. This is the air I breathe. Your holy presence living in me. living in me in me this is my daily bread this is my daily bread yes lord your word is my daily bread this is my daily bread your very word spoken spoken to me 
This is the air I breathe. This is the air I breathe. Yes, Lord, your spirit giving me revelation. This is the air I breathe. Your holy presence. Living in, me. living in me this is my daily this bread this is my daily bread tell him one more time this is my daily bread this is my daily bread your very word your very word spoken to me This is the air I breathe. This is the air. Yes, my friend. Look at your small finger. That small this finger would be dialing the telephone number and can start a huge, huge business transaction. And that same finger can start a conversation of destruction. And this is our daily bread is written word of God that is speaks to you this every day. Yes Lord, your very word your spoken very word spoken to me. Spoken to me. You know my friend, many this will never achieve a great assignment. Because they want their beginnings to be spectacular. But the presence of God is teaching you right now. Giving you daily bread of a man named Naman. The captain of the host of the king of Syria. Yes. He wanted to be healed. He was a leper. And he went to the house of Elisha. The prophet sent him with a simple instruction, spoken word to go and do. Elisha sent a message to him to go and wash in the Jordan River seven times. Naman was angry. Because he had a different mental picture of how his healing would occur. My friend, this is our daily bread. When the word is given, let us follow the instruction. And one of his servants said, My father, if the prophet had told you to do some great thing, would you have not done it? How much rather than when he said to you, wash and be clean. In two kings, I cut I am desperate for you. Yes, Lord, I am desperate for you. I want to know my assignment. I want to know my relationship with you, Lord. I am desperate for you. Yes, Lord, I am lost without you because I do not have instructions from you I am desperate for you Lord Elisha had got the had given Naman the assignment simple clear and direct and Naman was lost because he was bitter he was angry all that Naman what to do wash in the Jordan seven times all that he was asked to do something very simple and when you do the simple following the instruction the spoken word of God the supernatural occurs small beginnings often have great endings and that is what this morning you are singing I'm desperate for you Lord I'm lost without you Come on, 
it is his word that draws us closer and closer to the lord yes jesus i am lost without you lord without your instruction i am lost to lord just look at jesus understand the system of the kingdom of god jesus was born in a stable his beginning was in a small town of bethlehem it did not matter to him because jesus knew his destiny he was aware of the greatness of his destination one of his greatest statement ever is he that is faithful in that which is least is faithful also in much and he that is unjust in the least is unjust also in the much luke 16:10 yes this is the air i breathe this is the air i breathe your holy presence o lord living in me in me in me this is my daily bread this is my daily bread oh yes lord your word is my daily bread this is my daily bread in your very word spoken spoken to me attention to details produces excellence it is the difference between extraordinary champions and losers so do not despise and feel insignificant in your very small acts of obedience because it is giving birth to your assignment great evangelist of our day began his ministry duplicating tapes for his mentor hour after hour day after day he sat and duplicated tapes he listened to each tape over and over he served he ministered he assisted it was the beginning of a significant ministry look at the example of ruth she began an ignorant mobite heathen girl her attention to the small details of her assignment naomi positioned her as the great grandmother of david and ushered her in the lineage of jesus abigail brought lunch to the starving man david she became his wife when jesus wanted to produce a great miracle you always gave a small instruction little things matter to him notice the small insignificant instructions that jesus gave they almost seemed ridiculous some might think these were instructions given to children but none of them were rather they were given to grown men to mature adults go wash in the pool of shilom John 9:7 A big miracle. Yes, a blind man was healed for a lifetime of blindness. Launch out into the deep and let down your nets for a drought. Luke 5:4 This small instruction produced the greatest catch of fishes the disciples had ever gathered. Fill up the water pots with water. John 2:7 It produced the greatest wine anyone had tasted ever. it happened at the marriage of kenna arise and take up your bed and go thy way into thy house mark 2:11 what was the result the sick man of paralysis immediately arose took up his bed and went forth before them all and many glorified god because of it praise god thank you jesus hallelujah Hallelujah. So God is looking at you to follow his instructions. His ever spoken word. Amen. This is the air I breathe. This is the air I breathe.
This is the air I breathe. This is my daily bread. Yes, this is my daily bread. Your very words spoken to me. Spoken to me. This is the air I breathe. This is the air I breathe. There are many different rooms with doors that can be locked. Each room has its own key to unlock its door. There is however a master key that will unlock any door in the complex. I think this master key when I meditate on is the presence of God. You see in the word of God there are various keys to cover sickness, situations, there is one key to unlock healing, another to deliverance, another to abundance, another to relationship but there is also a master key which will unlock all of these and provide anything else that belongs to the believer. This master key is the presence of God. When you are living and walking in the presence of God Almighty, sickness has to go. No disease can withstand His presence. When you live in His presence, poverty, insufficiency must leave. They flee. There can be no lack in the presence of God who made heaven and earth. Every promise found in the word of God is wrapped up and available in His sweet presence. It truly is the master key. Now one of the first things you must recognize about the presence of God is that it isn't just a place to come to visit. It moves with you wherever you go. Listen to the very words of God's word to Moses. My presence goes with you and I will give you rest. Did you get that? God said to Moses, My presence shall go with you. The presence of God with all the power and peace it brings can go with you wherever you go. You can carry the presence of God to work, to the grocery store. The presence of God ought to be such a tangible part of who you are that people will notice something different about you. And that's when the voice will come, I'm desperate for this presence of God. Yes, I'm desperate for you Lord and I'm lost without you, without your presence O Lord. I'm actually lost without you. So let's sing it again with this understanding of the presence of God. Lord, I'm, I'm desperate for you. I'm desperate. And I'm, Lord, without you, I'm lost. I'm lost, completely lost without you. Yes, let the presence of God, the God of the universe, engulf you right now in the name of Jesus. He is with you. He is in you. Thank you, Jesus. I'm, I'm desperate for you and I'm lost without you. Come on, the presence of God is where you are struggling. The presence of God 
is where you are seeking. When you live in His presence, you no longer have to sweat or strain in your own ability. God is your covenant partner and you are operating in the power of His anointing. Come on, I am lost without you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Remember when Adam fell and brought the curse upon himself. Part of the curse involved hard, difficult work and sweat. And that's what the scripture says. When the presence of God left him, the ground is cursed for thy sake. In sorrow shall you eat of it all the days of your life. Thorns also and thistles shall it bring forth to thee. And you shall eat the herb of the field. In the sweat of your face you shall eat bread till you return to the ground. My friend, this is in Genesis 3, 17 to 18 and 19. But the good news is, in Jesus we have redeemed from the curse of the law. In the presence of God we have rest. Praise God we have rest. Praise God in His presence we have rest. Yes, I am desperate for that rest, O Lord, in your presence. It is without the presence of God that I am lost without you. I am lost without you. So when I live in the presence of God, I don't have to be worried about how I am going to pay my bills. I don't have to be tormented by depression, guilt or fear. As you are singing, I am desperate for you. I am lost without you. Lord Jesus is saying, Come to me, all you that labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn of me, for I am meek and lowly in heart, and you shall find rest into your souls. Thank you. Yes, Lord, I am desperate for you. I am desperate for your presence, for your word that teaches me all things, reveals to me the truth, so that I am no longer lost, O Lord, without you. I am with you and therefore I cannot be lost. It is only when I go away from you, Lord, I get lost without you. I am desperate. I am desperate for your word. You and your word are the same, O Lord, and without your word, I am lost, completely lost. Without your presence, I am lost, O Lord. I am lost without you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. My friend, when you get into the presence of the Lord, you will find rest and will discover that the struggle is over. When you are walking in that kind of rest, you will get other people's attention. Some will think you have a problem. Others may think you are a crazy. People will be saying, don't you realize what you are up against? Don't you understand the kind of challenge you are facing? You should be worried. But you will respond to them, no, I got the master key. When I got up this morning, I entered into the presence of God and His presence has gone with me all through this day. There is rest in the presence of God. I can rest because I know that in His presence all my needs are met. Yes, there is rest in the presence of the living God and that isn't all you will find. There is more, much more. Thank you Jesus. The benefit of glory and honor in the presence of God. In 1 Chronicles 16.27, glory and honor are in the presence of God. Many Christians have no idea what the glory of God really is. They think of it only as a mysterious cloud that appeared from time to time in Old Testament. Actually, the God kind of glory appears any time something promised in the word is manifested in the physical realm. 
let me repeat that again for you the god kind of glory appears any time something promised in the word is manifested in the physical realm for instance when healing as promised in the word comes into someone's life that's glory when supernatural provision is manifested that's glory where can you go to see the glory of god manifested in your life according to the verse we just read that glory comes when you enter into the presence of god it says glory as a partner honor what kind of honor the honor of god so honor and glory go hand in hand and we see that in our everyday life so as you are singing this prayer this hymn this is my daily bread your very word spoken to me your holy presence living in me this air i breathe is the pure anointing of god flowing into you right now so let's sing it together come on this is the air i breathe this is the air i breathe this is the air your holy presence holy presence living in me in me this is my daily bread this is my daily bread lord your spoken word your revelation yes it is yes lord the understanding the wisdom that this i receive from you your very word spoken to me I breathe This is the air I breathe Lord This is the air I breathe Yes Lord in your presence your is glory and honor Holy presence Live in me This is my day My friend as you are dwelling in the presence of God this his honor and glory day. is imparted to you And this is my daily bread Lord. Yes, this is my daily this bread. This is my daily bread. You are the very word spoken to me. Spoke spoken to me. To me. This is the Yes, in Psalm 91 it speaks about a believer dwelling in the shadow of the almighty in other words living in the very presence of god the lord will reveal his secrets to you living in me in me this is my daily bread my friend this is my daily bread in psalm 91 god wants to honor you This is He says he shall call upon me and I will answer him I will be with him in trouble I will deliver him and honor him With long life will I satisfy him and show you my salvation These are God spoken word Yes this is the air of anointing The presence of the Lord comes with honor do honor and with honor comes deliverance from trouble and that is what you see the manifestation of god's glory in one chronic in one chronicle 1627 there we saw that glory and honor are to be found in the presence of god yes so in the presence of god there is strength and gladness are in his place so strength and gladness are in the place where god is i don't know about you but there have been quite a few days when a little strength and gladness would come in mighty handy you need to be strengthened and let me tell you you can find it 
in the presence of the Lord. When feeling of sadness, discouragement, or oppression try to move into your mind, you will find gladness in God's presence. And that's why it is so important that we invest our time in reading God's word, meditating on God's word, and fellowshipping with the Lord in prayer. These four vital resources for successful living are found in God's presence. Glory, honor, strength and gladness. So let's tell him, yes Lord, I am desperate for this presence. I am desperate, O oh Lord. I am desperate for you. Yes, Lord, I am desperate for you. And I am lost without you. The presence of God is moving in our midst. Tell the Lord, I'm desperate for you, Lord, to know you more and more. I want to be seeing your glory, your honor, O oh Lord, your gladness, your strength. And that's what you said, O oh Lord. In your presence there is fullness of joy. Yes, Lord. Let my mind not be full of circumstances and situations. But let my mind be filled and full of your glory with the spoken word. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Yes, Lord, I'm lost without you. Tell the Lord, I'm desperate for you, for your word. Speak to me, Lord. Your very word spoken to me give, brings life and your presence, O Lord. I'm lost without you. Yes, Jesus, I'm desperate for you, Lord. Thank you for your word, O Lord. Tell him again, I'm desperate for you. Yes, Jesus, I need you, Lord Jesus. When I do not have your word, O oh Lord, I am lost without you. When I do not understand the system of the kingdom of God, when I am with bitterness, I am desperate for you. Without knowing your word, without knowing the truth, O oh Lord, I am lost without you. I'm lost without you. When my emotions have taken over my circumstances and situation and my mind is full of hurts, when I'm full of offense and bitterness and jealousy and envy, Lord, when my own have rejected me and left me, O oh Lord. When I myself have gone away from you with disobedience. When I have gone after the pleasure of this world, O oh Lord. Every time I disobey you, O oh Lord. Tell the Lord. I'm desperate for you. I'm desperate for you. When I do not understand your word, O oh Lord. I'm lost without you. When persecution come, troubles come, and I get easily offended, and I go away from you. When I'm worried and depressed, and my mind is full of doubt. 
when i get attracted to the pleasures of this world o lord when i caught up when i get caught up with my sinful life o lord when the pleasure of sin takes me deeper and deeper into addiction when i refuse to forgive others o lord when my mind is full of wickedness o lord i am desperate for your spoken word o lord for your teachings and your preaching o lord when i listen to the wrong teachings and preachings i'm lost without you when i listen to the teachings of the world i'm lost without you when i believe the word that contradicts to the word of god i'm lost without you under pressure i allow my emotions to take over my decisions the times when i'm angry with others and i open my mouth with angry words when i refuse to give my time to the kingdom of god when i fail to plant the good seeds in other people's life and help them tell the lord lord i'm desperate for you i'm desperate for you yes my friend with all those negative attitudes and emotions when i don't use the weapon of forgetting when i keep restoring my old memories when i'm again and again recalling what others have done to me when i focus other than jesus the author and finisher of my faith i get distracted thank you jesus you are my healer you are my deliverer oh lord you are my protector oh lord you are my provider oh lord you are my source oh lord thank you jesus thank you jesus thank you jesus Thank you Lord hallelujah who la bakana reke la kada reke 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 ka baba la bara ke reke 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 ka baba la bara ka reke 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 ka baba la bara ka reke 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 ka baba la bara ka reke 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 ka baba la bara ka reke 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 ka baba la bara ka reke 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 ka baba la bara ka reke 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 ka baba la bara ka reke 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 ka baba la bara ka reke 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 ka baba la bara ka reke 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 ka baba la bara ka
voices and I am desperate for you Lord yes Lord I am desperate for you I'm lost without you. Lord Jesus, without your word, I'm completely lost, oh Lord. I'm lost without you. But with your spoken word, I have glory and honor in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Praise you, Jesus. God plans ahead. God is involved with the unborn before even a mother sees the face of a child. God has scheduled a great plan in your life, my friend. So let's sing. You call me out upon the waters, the great unknown where feet may fail, and there I find you in the mystery in oceans deep. You call me out upon the waters The great, the great unknown, unknown Where feet, where may, feet fail. may fail And there I find you And there I find you in the mystery In ocean in deep, oceans deep My, my faith, faith will, sh will stand Yes Lord you call me you upon call the waters, me out upon the, waters the, great the great unknown, unknown where, feet may fail, where feet may fail and there I find you and there I find you in the mystery in oceans in deep oceans deep my faith will stand my faith will stand Yes, Lord, you call me out upon the waters. You call me out upon the waters. The, the great, great unknown, unknown. Where feet may fail. May fail. And there I find you in the mystery. And there I find you in the mystery. In oceans deep. In oceans deep. My faith will stand. My faith and I will call upon your name and keep my eyes above the waves and keep my eyes above the waves and keep my eyes above the waves when oceans rise so will rest in your embrace and you are mine Yes, Lord, I will call upon your name and keep my eyes above the waves when oceans rise my soul will rest in your embrace for I am yours yes, Lord, and you are mine I am yours, O Lord, and you are mine when I call upon your name, Jesus, and keep my eyes above the waves, Lord Jesus, and keep my eyes above the waves. When oceans rise, troubles rise, my soul will rest in your embrace. For I am yours, and you are mine. Come on, one more time, and I will call upon your name, and keep my eyes above the waves, and keep my eyes above the waves. When oceans rise, troubles rise. My soul will rest in your embrace, for I am yours. Yes, Lord, I'm yours, and you are mine. Thank you, Jesus. You are with us, O oh Lord. And my eyes are fixed on you, Almighty God, in spite of the oceans rising up. My friend, as you are seeking the kingdom of God, your assignment will take you where you have never been before. 
no matter how high the waves are no matter how high the oceans rise but the lord is with you he is embracing you changes are often uncomfortable when god gives you an assignment those seasons of discomfort are merely bridges to the greatest visitations of your lifetime even if you have never been there before moses went where he had never been before moses was sent to be the deliverer of the children of israel then god took them where none of them had ever gone before joseph went where he had never been before joseph was sold by his brothers to a caravan of ishmaelites they sold him into egypt a new location and a new country for him yet it was there that he became second in command of the entire country ruth went where she had never been before ruth left a native land of moab to serve a mother-in-law naomi yes it was a strange place and a strange lifestyle but it was there that ruth found the golden link to the man of a lifetime boys sometimes those around you are unqualified to celebrate your uniqueness so god takes you to another place where your value will be embraced and pursued none of these champions knew how god was going to direct their lives they simply knew god they trusted him the will of god mattered as much as the place where he led them mattered my friend embrace this truth your assignment might take you to places you have never thought you would see uncomfortable places unique places difficult places you may say i love comfort in fact i do not like you leaving this place where there is so much of comfort for several years now i have been here and i don't want to take any invitation to go anywhere else i want to be where things are comfortable because i love the comfort of the situation circumstances everything in my favor but a season of dif- discomfort often produces rewards for a lifetime thank you jesus thank you jesus my friend you have not yet been everywhere god is going to take you you may not have even been to a place where you are going to spend the rest of your life be ready for changes dramatic changes bold changes radical changes unexpected changes miracle changes healing changes promotional changes your greatest friends may still be in your future god is connecting you with new people new truth new provisions you will not stay where you are today is a temporary station where he has changing planes your assignment will take you where you have never been before praise god your grace o lord abounds in deepest water your sovereign hand will be my guide Where feet may fail, and fear surrounds me, and you have never failed, and you won't start now. Your grace abounds in deepest waters. Your sovereign hand will be my guide. Where feet may fail. and fear surrounds me you'll never fail and you won't start now 
your grace abounds in deepest waters yes lord your sovereign hand will be my guide where feet may fail and fear surrounds me you have never failed and you won't start now lord so so i call upon your name o lord and keep my eyes above the waves when oceans rise my soul will rest in your embrace for i am yours and you are mine You are mine, Lord. So I will and keep my eyes above the waves. When oceans rise, my soul will rest in Your embrace. For I am Yours, and You are mine. By the grace of God, my friend. Your assignment may be to birth something that has never existed before. You were created to change somebody. Like Solomon chose to build the temple of the Lord. It was something that had never existed before in Israel. It was profound and awesome. Without a doubt, it required uncommon faith and administrative capabilities. Your assignment may be so different, so extraordinary. that no man has ever attempted it before if it happens you may be tempted to become discouraged because you do not have a pattern before you my friend god's grace abounds even in deepest waters his sovereign hand always your guide your feet may fail and fear surrounds you but he has never failed and he will never fail you spirit lead me where my trust is without borders let me walk upon the waters wherever you would call me take me deeper than my feet ever wander and my faith would be me stronger in the presence of my savior spirit lead me Let me walk Let me upon the waters, upon the waters wherever, wherever you would call me. Take me deeper than my feet. Take me deeper than my feet could ever walk. And my faith and my will be, faith will be made stronger in the presence, in the presence of my Savior. Spirit, lead me, Spirit, lead me where, where my trust my is without borders. Let me walk upon the waters wherever you would call me Take me deeper than my feet would ever wander And my faith will be made stronger in the presence of my savior Spirit lead me Let me walk upon the water wherever you would call me Take me deeper Lord Take me deeper than my feet could ever And my faith will be made stronger In the presence of my savior Come on spirit lead me Let me walk Let me upon the waters wherever you would call me Lord Take me deeper than my feet could ever wander And my faith will be made stronger In the presence of my savior Come on everybody spirit lead me
let me walk upon the waters wherever you would call me take me deeper than my feet could ever wander take me deeper yes lord my faith will be made stronger in the presence of my savior one more time spirit lead me let me walk upon the waters wherever you would call me take me deeper than my feet could ever wander and my faith in the presence my faith spirit is leading you where your trust is going beyond the borders you are walking upon waters and it is god who is calling you taking you deeper than your feet could ever wander your faith is being made stronger and stronger for you are in the presence of the savior so do not get or feel obligated to open up your secret longings to every one near you your closest friends and even your family may find it impossible to encourage you in this new adventure stay quiet before the lord do what mary did simply ponder these things in your heart somebody told me if the eggs containing little chickens are broken too quickly the little chicks will die so it is with the timing of your dreams and goals your assignment contains seasons timing is crucial spend time in the presence of the holy spirit permit god to give you the exact plan for your assignment discern the difference between the command and the plan you see the command is different from the plan it took a moment for noah to get the command but it took many years to get the plan for building the ark it was the first time an ark had ever been built restoration is as necessary as creation your assignment may be restoration and repair like nemaya you may be called to rebuild something that has been broken down it may require great seed of patience and investment of time negotiation may become a major tool you may find it disheartening that people will not really back you up and respond to your vision my friend do not become discouraged your assignment was decided by god and was discovered by you you do not have to prove it to anyone or force other people to grasp its value your obedience in following god's instructions will bring you great joy remember your assignment may be to birth something that has never existed before yes god never uses logic to produce miracles because when the shepherd boy david faced goliath it appeared ridiculous his slingshot looked like a toothpick next to the huge spear of the giant david's young countenance probably caused laughter among the soldiers even though he had killed a lion and a bear i imagine david may have felt very uncomfortable however god had brought him there for a reason he may have looked ridiculous and illogical but god was with him it was the assignment the only fact that matters is that god is with you and the spirit of god leading you 
teaching you to trust him without borders helping you to walk upon waters so that you can call on him and trust him spirit lead me where my trust is without borders let me walk upon the waters wherever you Take me deeper than my feet could be, and my faith in the presence of my Savior. Come on, everybody! Spirit, lead me where my trust is without border, O oh Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah! Come on, believe that He's taking you, teaching you to walk upon the waters, wherever you would call me. Lord thank you for taking me deeper than my feet could ever wander and my faith is being made stronger and stronger every moment I am in your presence so mighty Lord God and savior Lord Jesus I thank you Jesus I thank you I will call upon your name and keep my eyes above the waves Yes Lord about every situation of my life my soul will rest in your embrace lord my yes, soul my soul completely renew that i am yours and you are mine lord and you are mine come on let's tell the holy spirit to lead me where my trust is without borders let me walk upon the waters Wherever you would call me, Lord. One more time, Spirit, lead me. My friend, the only fact that matters is that God is with you. It seemed impossible when Nehemiah set out to rebuild the burnt and broken walls of Jerusalem. But somehow, in the depth of his heart, Nehemiah had a mandate from God. It was not that he did not care. It was not a lack of sensitivity. Undoubtedly, he cried himself to sleep many nights in his bed, feeling like a laughing stock of the entire country. But it was the assignment. See Nehemiah 2:12. So I came to Jerusalem and was there three days. And I arose in the night. I and some few people with me. Neither told I any man what my God had put in my heart to do at Jerusalem. Neither was there any beast with me, save the beast I rode by. So Nehemiah was alone, but he had a mandate from God, an assignment. In the same way, the crucifixion was torturous and impossible in the mind of Jesus. He must have felt that way when he cried out in the garden, "Let this cup pass from me." However, God works with long-range plans, not short-term popularity contest. It was the assignment. Matthew 26:39, 27:22-50. It seemed ridiculous and illogical to walk around the walls of Jericho, expecting them to fall. But that was the assignment. Joshua 6. Three to five. It was ridiculous for Naaman, the leper, to expect his healing by going into the river Jordan. But it was the assignment. Two Kings five ten. It was illogical for a blind man to expect a miracle by washing his face, wiping clay and spittle off his face, and walking two miles to wash it off. Must have brought a thousand. Conflicting thoughts through his mind, but it was his assignment. John 9:6-7. And there I find you in the mystery. And there I find you in the mystery. 
in oceans deep in oceans deep my faith will stand my faith will stand and i will call upon the name your name lord my eyes about the waves and keep my eyes above the waves when oceans rise when oceans rise my soul will rest in your embrace for i am yours lord and you are mine i will call upon your name my eyes above the waves and keep my eyes above the waves when oceans rise when oceans rise my, my soul will rest, rest in your embrace and i am yours and you are mine and i will call upon your name keep my eyes above the waves and keep my eyes above the waves when oceans rise when oceans rise my soul, my soul will rest in your embrace for i am yours yes lord and you are mine come on everybody and i'll call upon your name keep my eyes above the waves and keep my eyes above the waves when oceans rise when oceans rise my soul will rest in your embrace in your embrace for i am yours you are mine Thank you Jesus thank you Jesus your grace abounds in deepest waters your sovereign hand is sovereign hand will be my guide where feet may fail the feet may fail and fear surrounds me you have never failed and you won't stop now Your grace abounds in deepest waters. Your sovereign hand will be my guide. Where your feet may fail and fear surrounds me. You have never failed. And you won't stop now. Your grace abounds in deepest waters. Your sovereign hand will be my guide. Where your where feet may fail, and fear surrounds me. You have never failed. Yes, Lord, you have never failed, and you won't start now. Do not despair. when you receive an instruction in your prayer time that causes you to fear or dread carrying it out miracles are always on the other side of obedience always remember the seasons of your life will always change every time you decide to use your faith your assignment may appear ridiculous illogical or even impossible to others god never consults your past to decide your future he is with you god finds genius unnecessary god can use you gifted or not for it is written i will destroy the wisdom of the wise and bring to nothing the understanding of the prudent where is the wise where is the scribe thank you God bless you love you Thank you Jesus Thank you Abba Father Thank you Holy Spirit I need you more my loving daddy 
more than yesterday and more than words can say i need you more than ever before i need you lord i need you lord come on let's sing i need you more more than yesterday more than yesterday i need you more more than words can say more than words can say i need you more than ever before than ever before i need you lord i need you lord i need you lord come on one more time i need you more i need you more more than yesterday More than words can say More than words can say I need you more than ever before Than ever before I, I need, need you Lord you, I need you Lord I need you Lord Lord Jesus I need you more need Holy Spirit you more. I need you more more than yesterday More than words can say I need you more Lord More than words can say I need you more Than ever before I need you Lord Than ever before I need you Lord I need you Lord I need you Lord More than the air I breathe More than the air I breathe More than the song I sing More than the song I sing More than the next heart beat More than anything Lord More than anything and Lord as time goes by I will be by your side I'll be by your side because I never want to go back cuz I never want to go yes, Lord back to my old life More than the air I breathe More than the song I sing More than the song I sing More than the next heartbeat More than the next heartbeat More than anything And Lord as time Lord, goes by, time goes by I will be by your side I'll be by your side because I never want to go back to my old life more than the air I breathe more than the song I sing more than the song I sing more than the next heart beat more than the next heart beat more than anything Lord more And Lord as time goes by I will be by your side I'll be by your side because I never want to go back to my old life I need you more Lord more than yesterday Yes Lord I need you more more than words can say I need you more than ever before. I need you, Lord. I need you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. You are the God who is love, and you are teaching us that even though I need you more, Lord, it is the strife in my heart. that is the killer of dreams my friend you can only do the works of god by faith and faith only works by love in our life in our relationships we come against strife strife is a very dangerous thing it is the destroyer of dreams the book of james is about faith how it works and how to receive everything you need and everything you want with the power of the force of faith you you can turn your whole body with the words of faith in your heart and in your mouth that is james 3 verse 2 and 3 when you agree with god and you say i'm healed even your physical symptoms show you are sick 
this is your declaration and what the word says i am because god's word is god's word and is healing me god's word is salvation god's word is whatever i need so my friend as you say i am healed and continue to believe your physical symptoms will go off and they will be manifestation of god's glory god's wisdom is found in his word james 3 13 to 17 speaks about a life walking in love and a life walking in strife jesus called wisdom the written word of god luke 11:49 a man came to jesus for healing for his son who was demon possessed luke 9:37 to 42 jesus said to the father of the boy if you can believe all things are possible to him that believeth mark 9:23 Jesus spoke and the demon left. In Mark's account we find the boy had a deaf and dumb spirit because Jesus said you deaf and dumb spirit come out. In Mark 9:25 Even now I speak in the name of Jesus every demonic forces come out every sickness and disease come out get out of this body right now in the name of jesus the disciples had not been able to help the man's son later the disciples reasoned among themselves as to who was the greatest luke 946 my friend reasoning is same as arguing with another and that strife faith works by the agape love of god in 1 corinthians 13 god speaks about the different character of agape love begin to practice this love and that is what we need and god is love and when you have love you have god and faith works through love that means faith works through god in jesus name amen yes my friend as you operate in love as time goes by and the lord is by your side i never want to go back to my old life let's sing it lord, i will be by your side because i never want to go back because i never want to go back to my old life tell him again as lord i will be by your side i'll be by your side because i never want to go back to my old life and lord as time goes by i will be by your side because i never want to go back to my old life tell him again one more time and lord as time goes by i'll be by your side because i never want to go back to my old life i don't want to go back to my old life of strife of jealousy of offense of bitterness of adultery of gambling of addiction i don't want to go back to my old sinful life lord i want to be with you lord i need you more oh lord set me free oh lord as i cry out to you i never want to go back to my old life lord yes i don't want to go back to my old life i will be by your side by your word oh lord depending on your word depending on your word living by your word lord jesus lord jesus i will be by your side 
because I never want to go back to my old life. Tell him what more time. Lord Jesus, I will be by your side, O Spirit of God, because I never want to go back to my old life. Yes. Yes. More than the song I sing. More than the next heartbeat. More than anything. And Lord, as time goes by, I will be by your side. Because I never want to go back to my old life. More than yesterday. More than words can say, I need you more. More than words can say, I need you more. Than ever before, I need you, Lord. I need you, Lord. I need you, Holy Spirit. I need you. I need your presence in my life, O Lord. Yes, Lord, I need you more. More than yesterday, Lord Jesus. More than yesterday. I need you more. More than words can say, I need you more, Lord. So much more, I need you more, oh Lord. Without you, I'm lost, oh Lord. I'm desperate for you than ever before. I need you, Lord Jesus. I need you, Lord. I need your gospel. I need your revelation. I need your truth, oh Lord. I need your presence in my life, oh Lord. I need your divine touch, oh Lord. I give you the highest praise. Yes, Lord, I give you the highest praise. The highest praise, oh Lord. Only to you, only to you, Lord. The highest praise. You are glorified, oh Lord. You are the mighty God, oh Lord. The miracle-working God, oh Lord. You deserve all the praise and glory, O oh Lord. We give you the highest praise, the highest praise. We give you the highest praise. Yes, Lord, the highest praise. There's no one like you, O oh Lord, the God of mercy and compassion. There's no one, no one, no one, no one like you, O oh mighty God. The ever-loving God, the forgiving God, the one who anoints us with the Holy Spirit, O oh Lord. We give you the highest praise. We give you the highest praise. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. You deserve all the praise and glory, O mighty God. Hallelujah. Ho la ba ba ra ka de 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 ke de la sa ba ra ka de 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 ke de de ke la ra ka la ka de. You deserve. You deserve all the glory, O mighty God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. I need you more than anybody, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. I will be by your side because I never want to go back to my old life. Tell him one more time, Lord. As time goes by, I will be by your side because I never want to go back to my old life. Yes, Lord, I hate it. I hate it. I will be in Your Word by Your side. Be a doer of the Word, O Lord, because I never want to go back to my old life. Yes, tell the Lord, Lord, as time goes by, I will be by Your side, rooted in Your Word, walking in Your love, because I never want to go back to my old life. And Lord, as time goes by, I will be by your side because I never want to go back to my old life. Come on, everybody, everybody! And Lord, as time goes by, I will be by your side. Thank you for your anointing, O Lord, because I never want to go back to my old life. Lord Jesus, it is only by the power of the Holy Spirit, O Lord. As time goes by, Holy Spirit, you are with me, O Lord, and I will be by your side because I never want to go back to go back to my old life. 
I will be by your side oh holy spirit you are strengthening me right now Lord as time goes by holy spirit you are ministering me you are empowering me to say no to temptation thank you jesus my friend you can only do the works of god by faith and faith only works by love galatians 5:6 and because you have the authority to do something does not mean you can do it jesus had given the disciples the authority to cast out demons in matthew 10:1 jesus had given the 70 believers the authority to heal the sick and cast out demons in luke 10:1 9 and 17 Jesus his disciples asked why could not we cast him the demon out Matthew 17:19 and Jesus said because of your unbelief this kind goes out by prayer and fasting Matthew 17:20 21 this kind of unbelief goes out with prayer and fasting the unbelief in the disciples was the problem so what is the purpose of fasting the purpose of fasting is to get your mind off yourself and on to god and that's what you are saying lord i need you more more than ever fasting does not change god fasting does not change devil fasting won't get devils out then why did jesus say about fasting jesus meant that if you spend time fasting praying worshiping and praising god you will get closer and closer to god and you won't worry and be in unbelief fasting is a way to get your flesh under control a way to become mature in patience and wisdom James 1 4 to 6 fasting causes you to be more sensitive to what Jesus is doing and saying spend time worshiping him spend time thinking about Jesus instead about yourself the apostles of the lamb changed the world by demonstrating and preaching the new birth on the day of pentecost the believers were filled with the love of god that overflowed from their hearts by the holy spirit the strife and the fussing was over the devil was killed strife is a killer a killer of families and nations so let us walk in love with one another let us learn to kill our flesh for that's the biggest enemy that leads us to unbelief and let us believe in what jesus is saying and what jesus has done so let us praise and give glory to god as we worship and sing and let every word that we sing mean in a heart and let this word become flesh in you i need you more more than yesterday i need you more more than words can say more than words can say i need you more than ever before than ever before i need you more i need you lord i need you more than ever yes lord i need you more come on everybody i need you more more than yesterday i need you more More than words can say I need you more. More than words can say I need you more. Than ever before I need you Lord, I need you Lord. Than ever before I need you Lord. Yes, I need you Lord. I need you Lord. Tell him one more time, I need you more. I need you more. More than yesterday I need you more. More than words can say I need you more More than words can say I need you more 
than ever before i need you lord i need you lord yes i need you more i need you more more than the air i breathe more than the song i sing more than the next heart beat lord more than anything and lord as time goes by i will be by your side lord yes lord your anointing will help me because i never want to go back to go back to my old life more than the air i breathe more than the song i sing more than the song i sing more than the next heart beat lord more than anything in this life yes lord and as time goes by your word your spirit i will be by your side thank you lord because i never want to go back to my old life more than the air i breathe more than the song i sing more than the song i sing more than the next heartbeat more than the next heartbeat more than anything oh lord more than anything and lord as time goes by i will be by your side i'll be by your anointing oh lord protecting me so that i will never go back to my old life more than the air i breathe more than any song i could ever sing so much more than anything i need you more yes lord so much more than anything i need you more oh lord yes lord more than the air i breathe oh lord any song any song that i can ever sing oh lord so much more than anything oh lord i need you more nothing more than you lord what i need you thank you lord Thank you Lord. Thank you Lord. Thank you Jesus. Come on give him free praises. Thank you Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you Jesus. Thank you Jesus. Thank you Jesus. Thank you Holy Spirit. Thank you Holy Spirit. Thank you Abba Father. I want to be in your presence, O oh Lord. Oh, thank you Lord more than anything in this world, O oh Lord. I want to worship you, Lord. I want to be with you, O oh Lord. I want to fellowship with you, O oh Lord. Thank you Lord Jesus. Thank you Lord Jesus. more than the song i sing more than anything i need you more yes lord more than anything more than anything oh lord more than the air i breathe oh lord more than any song that i sing i need you more than anything oh lord i need you i need you lord i need you lord i need you lord thank you jesus I need you more Lord more than yesterday I need you Lord more than the words can say Lord more than words can say I need you more oh Lord than ever before I need you Lord I need you Lord come on more than the air I breathe Yes Lord more than the song I sing oh Lord I more than yesterday I need you more oh Lord more than words can say I need you more oh Lord so much more oh Lord than ever before I need you more Lord I need you Lord I need you Lord there is nobody else oh Lord you are my source of my life oh Lord I need you more I need you Lord I need you Lord I need you more than yesterday Lord We need we give you Lord the highest praise. 
Yes, Lord, we give you the highest praise. Yes, Lord Jesus, we give you the highest praise. We give you the highest praise, Abba Father. There's none like you, Lord. There's no one like you, Lord. There's no one like you, Lord. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Lord. The highest praise, O oh Lord. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. We give you the highest praise. We give you the highest praise. The highest praise, O oh Lord. We give you the highest praise. We need you more, Lord, more than anything, O oh Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Holy Spirit. We give you the highest praise. We deserve every praise and glory, O oh Lord. We give you the highest praise. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. We need you more. More than the air I breathe, O oh Lord. More than the air I breathe, O oh Lord. I know without air I cannot live, O oh Lord. But much more than that, I need you, Lord. I need you, Lord. I need your word. I need your spirit. I need your fellowship, O oh Lord. I need to walk with you and live with you and do what you want me to do, O oh Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. I need you more, Lord, more than yesterday, O oh Lord. I need you more, O oh Lord, more than anything, O oh Lord, I need you. Thank you, Jesus. Words can say, I need you more than ever before, Lord. I need you more. I need you, Lord. I need you more, more than yesterday. More than yesterday, I need you more. More than words can say, I need you more. Than ever before. I need you, Lord. Jesus, I need you, Lord. I need you more, Jesus. We give you the highest praise. Yes, Lord. We give you the highest praise, O Lord. We give you the highest praise. You are the forgiving God, the compassionate God, the Savior of the world, the King of Kings, the Lord of Lords. The God who anoints us with the Holy Spirit. The Lord who has given us the gift of grace and the promises of God. Thank you for your promises, O Lord. Thank you for your divine touch, O Lord. Thank you for teaching us the truth, O Lord. Thank you for setting us free, O Lord. Thank you, Lord, for setting us free. Thank you for your anointing, O Lord, that removes the burden and destroys the yoke of the devil. Thank you, Lord, that you are with us, that even when the enemy comes in like a flood, you raise up a standard against that flood, O oh Lord, and you protect us, O oh Lord. We thank you, we praise you. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Choose love, my friend, not strife. Change your situation and circumstances with the love of God. Greater, greater is He that is in me, that is love, than he that is in the world, that is the author of evil work. Learn how to put the greater one, love, to work for you. Use love instead of debate, love instead of arguing, instead of answering back, just love him and the love of God melts the heart. Let no corrupt communication proceed out of our mouth. Ephesians 4.29 Corrupt communication includes bad words and causes strife. Instead build others up, be kind to one another and forgive even as God for the sake of the anointing and the anointed one has forgiven you. Continue to speak love 
and that's when god is with you and you cannot go back to your old ways because love is your best best savior protecting you from all evil god bless you love you amen and amen and amen thank you jesus there is none like you lord no one else can touch a heart like you there is none like you no one else can touch my heart like you do no one else can touch my heart like you do and i can search for all eternity lord. i can search for all eternity lord and find there is none like you there is none like you come on everybody there is none like you lord No one else can touch my heart like you do Jesus. No one else can touch my heart like you do. And I can search for all eternity. I can search for all eternity long. And find there is none like you. Yes Lord Jesus. You are full of love, full of compassion, full of com- forgiveness Lord. There is none like you. No one else yes lord no one else can touch my heart like you do no one else can touch my heart like you do and i can search for all eternity long and i can search for all eternity long and find there is none like you there is none come on one more time one more time there is none like you lord there is none like you no one else can touch my heart like you do there is none like No one else can touch. No one else can touch my heart like you do. And I can search for all eternity long. Search for all eternity long. And find there is none like you. There is none like you. No one else can touch my heart. No one like you do can touch my heart like you do and i can search for all eternity long i can search for all eternity long and find there is none like you come on everybody tell the lord there is none like Yes Lord no one else can touch my heart like you do No one else can touch my heart like you do And I can search for all eternity long I can search for all eternity long And find and find there is none there like you is none like Thank you Lord for bringing us out of the kingdom of darkness and putting us into your own kingdom There is none like my heart like you do and i can search for all eternity long and find there is none like you yes lord you are full of mercy and compassion and your mercy flows like a river wide and healing comes from your hands lord healing comes from your hands comes from your hands suffering children are safe in your arms oh, and suffering children are safe in your arms there is none like you lord there is none like, like you your mercy flows like rivers wide lord and healing comes from your hands comes from your hand oh lord it's from your hand suffering children are safe in your arms suffering children yes lord suffering children are safe in your hand there is none like you there is none like 
us, Jesus. Your mercy, your mercy flows like river wide, O oh Lord. And healing comes from your hands. Lord Jesus, suffering children are safe in your hands. There are so many who are suffering, oh Lord. And they are safe in your arms, oh Lord, right now. There is none like you. There is none like you, Jesus. There is none like you. Thank you. Your mercy, Lord, flows like a river. And healing comes from your hands. Suffering children are safe in your arms. There is none like Lord Jesus. There is none like you. You went about preaching, teaching, and healing the sick, giving deliverance to those who are in captivity. And what you did, O oh Lord, you have given us the same power to do in our day-to-day -day life. My friend, healings and miracles can occur simply by teaching people the Word of God and by getting them to exercise their own faith for healing. You see, the Word is anointed. God's Word is the same whether I feel the anointing or not and the Word always works. Many a times I think people are waiting for a manifestation of the Spirit of God to heal them. But they don't have to wait for a manifestation of the Spirit because the Word of God will always work for them. For example, if doctors told you that you are going to die, would you just wait for a manifestation of a Spirit of God before you accepted the healing Jesus already provided for you? No. Of course not. Thank God the Bible says He Himself, that is Jesus, took our infirmities and bare our sickness and by whose stripes you were healed. That is Matthew 8.17 and 1 Peter 2.24. If you were healed by Jesus' stripes, then you are healed now by stripes. I have seen more people healed because they heard the word and acted on their own faith than by any other way. Praise God, the word works. That's the reason Paul told Timothy, preach the word in 2 Timothy 4.2 and it is through the word that we can be assured that it is God's will to heal us. Now remember, Satan is the author of sickness. We know it is God's will to heal the, His people because healing is in God's redemptive plan. We already heard the word, He Himself took our infirmities and bare our sicknesses. Matthew 8.17 So we know that healing is in the redemption that Jesus has provided for us. We also know that it is God's will to heal His people because sickness and disease come from Satan and God does not want us to have anything that comes from Satan. We really don't have any business with something that comes from Satan that does not belong to us. Sickness and disease does not belong to us. They are of the devil. By the same token, healing does belong to us. Jesus purchased healing for us in the plan of redemption through his death, burial and resurrection. Unless our minds are renewed with the word of God, we won't understand that Satan is the author of sickness, disease and everything that destroys. Our thinking will be all wrong. But once our mind is renewed with the word of God, we will be able to see 
that Jesus came to redeem us from Satan's power and to give us life more abundantly. John 10.10 10. The thief, that is the devil, comes not but to steal and to kill and to destroy. I am come that they might have life and they might have it more abundantly. Thank you Jesus. Jesus is a earthly ministry. According to John 10.10 10, Anything which kills or destroys is from the enemy. The Bible also clearly tells us that when Satan is finally eliminated from the earth, the law of sin and death will stop functioning. There will be nothing that will hurt or destroy. Isaiah 65 25 Jesus came to do the will of God and to set man free, not to hurt or destroy lives. Therefore, it does not make sense to say God hurts or destroys people's life. Jesus healed people in his earthly ministry, taking sickness from people, not putting sickness on them. That makes it impossible to accept the teaching that sickness and disease come from God. Jesus plainly taught by his words and his actions that sickness and disease come from the enemy that is Satan and that's why the word says in Acts 10 38 how God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Ghost and with power who went about doing good and healing all that were oppressed of the devil for God was with him thank you Jesus thank you Jesus hallelujah hallelujah Yes, Lord, there is none like you. No one else can touch my heart like you. No one else can touch my heart like you do, Lord. No one else can touch my heart like you do. Yes, I can search for all eternity. Lord. I can search for all eternity, Lord. And find there is none like you. There is none like you. Come on, everybody, everybody. There is none like you. There is none like you. No one else can touch my heart like you do. No one else can touch my heart like you do. And I can search for all eternity long. I can search for all eternity long. And find there is none like you. There is none. That same Jesus is touching you right now. Is anointing, is healing you right now. As you sing these words, there is, there is none like you. like you. Yes, no one else can touch my heart like you do. No your heart is being touched. Touch the anointing like is healing your heart, your spirit. I, I can search. search for long. Yes, Lord, there is none like you. There is none like the anointing. Is rooming all your sorrow and worry. Come on, tell the Lord there is none like you. There is, none like there is power you. in your words. Life and death is in the power of your tongue. Come on, confess it. No one else can touch, touch my heart. Like you do. He's filling you with his love. I can search for all eternity long. Yes, his love is overflowing in you. His love is overflowing in you. There is, there is none, none like you. you. Thank you, Lord. Praise the Lord. Your love is overflowing in each one's heart, O Lord, and transforming hearts. And healing comes from your hands. Suffering children are safe in your hands, O Lord. Come on, let's tell him again. Lord, healing comes from your hands. Suffering children are safe in your arms. All that suffering children are safe in your arms. Healing comes from your hands, Lord. Comes from your hands. Suffering children are safe in your arms, Jesus. All that suffering children are safe in your arms. Come on, believe. Healing comes from your hands, Lord Jesus. 
the Lord, suffering children are safe in your arms. We are the children of God. Yes, Lord, healing comes from your hands right now. Right now, O Lord. Suffering children are safe in your arms, O Lord. One more time, healing comes from your hands, Lord Jesus. Suffering children are safe in your arms. Healing comes from your hands, Lord Jesus. Spirit of God. Oh yes, Spirit of God, suffering children are safe in your arms. Healing comes from your hands. Suffering children are safe in your arms. Healing comes from your hands. Suffering children. Yes, Lord, there is none like you, everybody. There is none like you. Oh, yes, there is none like you, Lord. Healing comes from your hands. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Your mercy flows like a river wide. And healing comes from your hands. Healing comes from your hands. Suffering children are safe in your arms. There is none like you. There is none like you. Thank you, Jesus. Your anointing is flowing and healing your children, O oh Lord. Mercy flows like a river fire. Healing comes from your hands. Suffering children are safe in your arms. There is none like you. There is none like you. In the name of Jesus, be healed, be delivered, be set free right now. The anointing of the Lord is upon you in Jesus' name. Your mercy flows like a river wide. And healing comes healing from your hands. Comes from your hands. Suffering children are safe in your arms. There is none like you, Lord. There is none like you. There is none like you. No one else. There is none like you. No one else can touch my heart like you, Lord. No one else can touch my heart like you do. Yes, Lord, I can search for all eternity, Lord. I can search for all eternity. Yes, he is Lord. Yes, and fine, there is none like you. There is none like you. There is none like you, Lord. There is none like you. No one else can touch my heart like you. No one else can touch my heart like you do. I can search for all eternity, Lord. I can search for all eternity, Lord. And fine, there is none like you. Come on, tell the Lord there is none like you. There is none like you. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. No one else can touch my heart like no you. No one else can touch my heart like you do. Yes, 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 I can search for I all eternity. I can search for all eternity long. And fine, there is none there like is you. None there is none like you. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Oh, hallelujah, hallelujah. No one like you, Lord. No one like you. No one else can touch my heart like you do. Yes, Lord. No one else can touch my heart like you do, Lord. I can search for all eternity. Even 
But if I search for all eternity, Lord, I can only find there is none like you. 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 No one else can touch my heart like you. For all eternity, Lord, I search for all eternity, Lord, and find, and find there is there none is like you. Like Come on, one last time, one more time, one more time. There is none like you. There is none like you. Like you. No one else can touch my heart like you do. No. I can search for all eternity long. I can search for all eternity long. There is none like you. There is none like you. From Satan's bondages. Luke 13, 11 to 16. And behold, there was a woman which had a spirit of infirmity 18 years and was bowed down together and could in no wise lift up herself. And when she, Jesus saw her, he called her to him and said unto her, Woman, thou art loose from thy infirmity. And he laid his hands on her, and immediately she was made straight and glorified God. And the ruler of the synagogue answered with indication, because Jesus had healed on the Sabbath day and said unto the people, There are six days in which men ought to work. In them therefore come and be healed, and not on the Sabbath day. The Lord then answered him and said, You hypocrite, does not each one of you on the Sabbath lose his ox or his ass from the stall and lead him away to watering? And ought not this woman being a daughter of Abraham, whom Satan had bound, lo, this, six, this eighteen years be loosed from this bond on the Sabbath day. Verse 11 says, This woman had a spirit of infirmity. Where did the spirit of infirmity come from? Notice in verse 16, whom Satan had bound. So in verse 16, Jesus also declared that this woman should be loosed from this infirmity and gave good reasons why. One reason was that Satan had bound her. We know that sickness and diseases are bondages. God's people should not be bound by sickness or disease because Jesus already paid the price for our redemption in the new covenant. The second reason Jesus said the woman should be healed was that she was a daughter of Abraham. I have heard people say, yes, but that's the old covenant. Well, under the new covenant, it is a better covenant established upon better promises. Certainly, if God's people can be healed under the old covenant, we can be healed under a new and better covenant. To say that we have to be bound by Satan is wrong thinking. Galatians 3.29 says, If you be Christ, then you are Abraham's seed and heirs according to the promise. And Galatians 3.7 says, Know you therefore that they which are of faith, the same are the children of Abraham. The woman in Luke 13 with the spirit of infirmity was a daughter a child of Abraham and so we are we. If we are in Christ Jesus, Jesus said this woman ought to be loosed. Well, if she ought to be loosed, then we ought to be loosed. Therefore, if Satan tries to bind us with sickness or disease, we don't have to accept that we can be healed. So in the name of Jesus, I speak to you my friend, you are loosed. The issue is settled. God calls sickness and disease satanic oppression. But thank God we read in Acts 10.38 that Jesus went about doing good in his earthly ministry, healing all who were oppressed by
by the devil. So don't get confused that God is the one who puts sickness and disease on them, but believe Acts 10 38 says that Satan is the oppressor and Jesus is the deliverer. Let the word of God, not man's ideas or opinion, settle this issue once and for all. Healing is the will of God for you. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. There is none like you. There is none like you. Abba Father, loving Father, everlasting Father, there is none like you. There is none like you. My heavenly Father, Father of spirits, Father of lights, there is none like you, Lord. Yes, Father of mercy, Father of glory, Father who created me, there is none like you. Oh yes, you breathe your breath into me, you establish me, Father, there is none like you. Yes, my loving Abba Father, one Father of all, Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, you are the righteous Father the Father who is invisible, who is in secret. Yes, you are the Father of the righteous, Father of Israel, the living Father. The Father who is going to give up the kingdom for us, the Most High God. Father, who is a great Father, the God of Gods, the living God, the loving God. Yes, the God of love and peace, eternal God, the God of all comfort. Oh yes, the God of patience and consolation, the God of glory, the God of my mercy. God who called me by His glory, the God of Abraham, Isaac and Jacob. I can search for eternity long, yes Lord, and find there is none like you. Yes, there is none like you, Lord, God of Israel, the God of Elijah, the God of David. No one else can touch my heart like you do. Come on, tell the Lord. The God who answers prayers, the God of the whole earth. God of all kingdoms of the earth, the God of heaven and earth. Oh yes, the God of wonders, the almighty God, the mighty God. God who rules the raging of the sea, the true God. No one else can touch my heart like you the God who fills us with his wisdom, the God of heaven. No one else can touch my heart like you do. Yes, Lord, when we call to you when trouble comes, you are the one who no saves one us. Else can touch my heart like you do. The God who fills my heart with holiness and with no truth and with his promises. Can touch my Yes, Lord, you are the God of hope, the God who keeps no His covenant, like the merciful God who is rich in mercy, no one else can touch my like you do. the God of truth and without iniquity, the God of host, no one else can touch my like you do. God who sees me, I can search for all to and find there is none like you. Thank you, Lord. No one else can touch my heart like you do. No one else can touch my heart like you do. I can search for all eternity, Lord. And find there is none like you. There is none 
One more time, there is none like you. Come on. This is the time to talk to the Lord from your heart. Let the words come out from your heart. Your mercy, Lord, flows like river wide. And healing comes from your hands. Suffering children are safe in your arms, Lord. There is none like you. There is none. Oh yes. Healing comes from your hands, Lord. Suffering children are safe in your arms. They are healed and they are set free by the power of your spirit, O Lord. There is none like you. And healing comes from your hands. Suffering children are safe in your arms. There is none like you, there is none like you. There is none like you. The word of God says God sent his word and healed. His word is Jesus and it is through Jesus. Mercy flows like a river. And healing comes from your hands, O oh Lord. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Suffering children are safe in your arms. There is none like you. There is none like you. Yes, Jesus is the word that was made flesh. And God sent his word to heal us. Your mercy flows like a river Thank you, Lord Jesus. Wine. Through you, mercy flows, O oh Lord. Through you, healing your comes hands. from your hand. Suffering children. There is none like you. There is none like you, Lord. There is none like you. No one else can touch my heart like you do. I can search for all eternity long and find. There is none like you. One more time, one more time, one more time. There is none like you, Lord Jesus. Abba Father, no one can touch my heart like you. No one else can touch my heart like you. Yes, Father God, I can search for all eternity, Lord. I can search for all eternity, Lord. Yes, Abba. Fine. There is none like you, our Father. None like you, our Father. There is none like you. There is none like you. No, not one. There is none like you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Praise you, Jesus. Abba Father, you are beautiful. You are beautiful beyond description, Lord. Too marvelous for words. Too wonderful for comprehension. Like nothing ever seen or heard. Who can grasp your infinite wisdom, O Lord? Can fathom the depth of your love. You are beautiful beyond description. Too marvelous for words. Too marvelous for words. Too wonderful for comprehension. Too wonderful for comprehension. Like nothing ever seen or like heard. Nothing ever seen or heard. Who can grasp your infinite? 
infinite wisdom Who can fathom the depth of your love? The depths of your love You are beautiful you are beyond description Description Majesty Majesty Enthroned above Enthroned above You are, you are beautiful, beautiful beyond description, description. Too marvelous for words Too marvelous for words Too wonderful for comprehension Too wonderful for comprehension Like nothing ever like seen nothing or heard ever seen or heard Who can grasp Who can grasp Your infinite, infinite wisdom Who can fathom the depth of your love the depths of your love You, you are, are beautiful, beautiful beyond description beyond Description Majesty Majesty Enthroned above Enthroned above You are beautiful beyond description Too marvelous Too marvelous For words For words Too wonderful for comprehension Wonderful for comprehension Like nothing ever seen or heard Like nothing ever seen or heard Yes, Father, who can grasp your infinite who wisdom? Who can grasp your infinite Who can wisdom? fathom the depth of your love? Who your forgiveness, your compassion the depths of your, your agape love, oh Lord You are beautiful You are beautiful, you are beautiful beyond, beyond, beyond description Description Majesty, Majesty, enthroned above, enthroned above. beyond you description, beyond description. Too marvelous for words, too marvelous for words, too wonderful for comprehension, too wonderful for comprehension. Like nothing ever seen or heard, like nothing. Ever seen Who can grasp heart? your infinite wisdom? Who can grasp your infinite Who can wisdom? fathom the depth of your love? Who can fathom the depths of your love? You are beautiful beyond description. You are beautiful beyond description. Majesty and throne above. And I stand, and I stand in awe. I stand, I stand, I stand in awe of you. I stand, I stand in awe of you. Yes, Lord. Holy God, to whom all praise is due. All praise is due. I stand in awe of you. Oh yeah, oh yeah. And I stand, I stand, I stand in awe of you, Lord. Oh yes, I stand in awe of you. I stand, I stand in awe of you. I stand, I stand in awe of you. Holy God, to whom Holy all praise is due. All praise is due. I stand in awe of you. Come on, come on, everybody, everybody. I stand, I stand in awe of you. I stand, I stand in awe of you. I stand, oh my dear Holy God. You. Holy God to whom all praise is due. Praise every you. praise, every thanksgiving is due. I stand in awe of you. Oh Lord Jesus, thank you for your sacrifice on the cross, Lord. I look at you and I stand in awe of you. For your love, oh Lord, I stand. I stand in awe of you, looking at your love, O Lord. Holy God, Holy God, to whom all praise is due. Yes, I stand in awe of you. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord, for giving us your Holy Spirit. Who imparts power 
the power of love in each one of us. Thank you, Holy Spirit. There are battles that are going on in our life. My friend, the battle has left you drained out and empty and you just can't rise up. But I want to tell you, the Holy Spirit who is in you is the strength of your life. He is inside of you. Jesus said, my word is spirit, my word is life. When you are focused on the Lord's word, your mind is stayed on God's word. Your mind is renewed by God's word. His spirit that is in the word is the one that gives you the power. Isaiah 40 verse 29 says, He gives power to the faint and to them that have no might, He increases the power. God loves you. He loves you and He is the one who gives you the power when you don't have the power. When your power seems to have drained out, the Lord in His word has promised you His power and all you need to do is agree with His word. And my friend, as you agree with His word, He gives you the power which looks like I'm going to faint, but God's word strengthens you, fills you with power that you are no longer powerless. Even the youth will faint and be weary and the young will fall exhausted. But those who wait, those who trust for the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings like eagles. They shall run and not be weary. They shall walk and not faint. My friend, as you feed on his word, Remember, the Word of God is your strength. Yes, the Word of God is your strength. As you feed on the Word, it is just like the mother feeding the small baby birds with the Word. There are no feathers, there is no hair. The baby has all it has got is a skin. But the baby doesn't sit and cry that mom you got beautiful wings, colorful wings and I don't have anything but the baby is going on eating the food that the mama is feeding the hair turns into feathers the wings begin to grow and that is the waiting time that is the trusting time and that's when the word begins to renew your strength and the baby learns to flap the wings and the baby is able to learn to fly. We are the eaglets in the nest and the mother, the heavenly father, feeds us with his word and his word is strengthening you. The young shall run and they will faint, they will weary, they will get tired and get exhausted. But you who is feeding yourself on the word of God, you shall not get tired because the word of God whose spirit and life is strengthening you. He is the one who strengthens you. People will come and speak words. The word of God will also speak words. The doctor's report will speak words. The symptoms will speak words. Circumstances will speak words. Everything around you will speak words. And those words are meant to drain you. They are meant that when you eat it, your emotions will become extremely negative, you will turn into a victim. But my friend, as you stay on, hold on to the words of Jesus, the champion, he took his father's word, his father's will, and stuck to that word and fought the battle victorious. And he's saying, I am the same Jesus who is feeding you, my little child, and you are a babe. As you are a babe and you are eating of that word, you are getting new wings, you are renewing your strength. Yes, there is a process, there is a season, this is the time for you to renew your strength, to delight in his word, to eat his word day and night, to agree with his word and his word is strengthening you 
with new wings, new feathers that you are flying like an eagle. Look at yourself. Don't sit around with chickens and hens and ducks who keep doing cock 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 the whole day. But stay with the eagles and learn from the main eagle, Lord Jesus, his ways. Because he is the way, he is the truth and the life. Come on, Lord Jesus. You are beautiful beyond description. Yet God crushed you for my sin. In agony and deep affliction. Cut off that I may enter in. Cut off that I might enter in. Who can grasp such tender Who compassion? Can grasp such tender compassion? Who can fathom this mercy Who so free? This mercy so free? You are beautiful beyond description. You are beautiful beyond description. The Lamb of God who died for me. You are beautiful beyond description, Lord. You are beautiful beyond description. Yes, yet God crushed you yet for my God sin. Crushed you for my sin. In agony and deep affliction, Lord. In agony and deep affliction. Cut off that I may enter. In. Cut off that I might enter. In. Who can grasp such Who tender can compassion? Lie. Who can fathom this mercy Who so can free? This mercy so free. You are beautiful. You are, you are beautiful, beautiful beyond description. Beyond description. Lamb of God who died Lamb for me. Lamb of God who died for me. You are beautiful beyond description. Come on, tell the Lord. You are beautiful beyond description. Yet God crushed you Yet for my God sin. In agony and deep affliction. In agony and deep affliction. Cut off that I may enter in. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Who can grasp such great, great tender compassion? Who can fathom this mercy? So free, so great, so unconditional, Lord. You are beautiful. Beyond description, Lamb of God, who died for me. Yes, yes, Lord, there's no one, no one as beautiful, Lord. Yes, God crushed you for my sin. In agony and deep affliction, Lord, your eyes were fixed on me, Lord. So that I can be cut off that I might I may enter in, Lord. Yes, you cut off everything for me to enter in. Who can fathom this mercy? This mercy so free. You are so so beautiful. Thank you, Lord, for your gospel. Almighty Lamb of God. You died for me, Lord. Thank you, thank you, Lord. Thank you, you're beautiful. Yes, God, you crushed you for my Yes, for my sin. In agony and in deep affliction. Cut off that I may enter in. Who can grab such Compassion. Compassion. Who can fathom? Who can fathom this mercy, this mercy so, free? so free? You are beautiful beyond description. You are beautiful beyond description. Oh, Lamb of God, you died for Lamb me. Of God, you died Come on. For me. And I stand, I stand in all the Lord. I stand, I stand in all I stand, I stand, I stand in all of you. I stand in all of you. Holy God, to whom all praise is due. I stand, I stand in all of you. 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 I stand, I stand in all of
standing on me. Come on, come on. And I stand in all of you, Lord. Holy God, to whom Holy all things in you. And you are standing in all of you, Lord, for your tender mercies, for your compassion, O Lord. I stand, I stand, I stand in all of you, Lord. I stand, I stand in all of you, Lord. You are crushed by God for my sin, O Lord. I thank you, Holy God. Praise is you. I stand in all you. I stand, I stand, I stand in all you, Lord. The King of kings, the Lord of lords. Yes, Lord Jesus, I stand looking at you, Lord. Crushed for my sin. In my place, Lord, in agony Holy and in deep affliction, Lord, thank you that I may enter in, O oh Lord. I stand in all you. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, Jesus. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Holy God, to whom all praise is due. I stand in all of you. Come on. Let's sing it again. Let's sing it again. Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. My friend, the same Jesus who took our place on the cross has given us the same Holy Spirit with which He fought the battle. Remember, the Holy Spirit dwells in you. You have an encourager inside of you who encourages you even when the enemy is trying to drain you completely. Stop waiting for others to speak good things about you. But Psalms 37 4 says, Delight thyself also in the Lord and he shall give you the desires of your heart. Come on, as you delight yourself in the Lord, he shall give you the desires of your heart. Commit yourself to the Lord and trust in Him and He will bring it to pass. Get excited and learn the Word of God. The Lord is there to bless you. Jesus promised that power would come to us through the Holy Spirit in Acts 1.8. He said you shall receive power after that the Holy Ghost has come upon you and you will be witnesses unto me both in Jerusalem and in Judea and in Samaria and unto the uttermost part of the earth. You shall receive the power of love and with this agape love, with this forgiving love, with this reaching out love, you will become the witness. The Holy Ghost will make you a reacher to reach out to those around. He is there with you. Thank you, Lord. I thank you, Lord. I thank you, Lord. You shall see your deliverance from the battle. 2 Timothy 4, 17 and 18. The word says, Notwithstanding, the Lord stood with me and strengthened me, that by me the preaching might be fully known and that all the Gentiles might hear. I was delivered out of the mouth of the lion, and the Lord shall deliver me from every evil work, and will preserve me unto his heavenly kingdom. To him be glory for ever and ever. Amen. My friend, the Lord is standing with you. 
strengthening you and the preaching that you are going around that everyone who hears it will be delivered and as for you god promises you that he will deliver you out of the mouth of the lion the lord is there to deliver you from every evil and will preserve you from every evil heaven from everything to him be all the glory the holy spirit becomes an enemy to your enemies because he has promised you in exodus 23 22 but if you shall indeed obey his voice and do all that he speaks then i will be an enemy unto your enemies and an adversary unto thy adversary come on let us agree with god's word that's where you can stand in awe of him because he has promised you that when we obey his voice and do all that he has told us then god himself will fight the battle for us he will be an enemy to my enemies and an adversary to my adversary you will experience a supernatural rest from your warfare psalms 127:2 says for he gives his beloved sleep thank you lord for even in the battle o oh lord i have this assurance lord, that your strength helps me lord to overcome every lord, situation of my life i thank you lord that i have rest in you i have sleep in you holy spirit you are the one who gives strength when the left, when the battle has drained all my strength out o oh lord my strength comes from you father you have observed the warfare around me and you are aware of my enemies lord jesus thank you for promising me the holy spirit would impart power to my life i remember lord that your promise is always a yes and a amen and it is always yes in christ jesus i thank you for this promise in the name of jesus father i am strengthened my wings are growing stronger and stronger as i eat your word daily o oh lord and i stand in awe of you watching you o oh lord how you fought the battle relying on the father's will relying on the father's word lord, I even i am growing I in the same way lord stronger and stronger yes i am standing I in awe of you lord looking at the changes looking at the transformation that has taken place in my life i have seen in my own life o oh lord the areas where i was weak and i would be fallen a prisoner in captivity you not only came you fed me with your word you gave me your spirit gave me your understanding to come out of all prison all captivity all addiction all evil and grew in me a new habit to feed your word and live by your word and your life is flowing o oh lord and i thank you and i thank you lord i thank you jesus i praise you jesus hallelujah yes lord you are beautiful beyond description you are beautiful beyond description too marvelous for words too marvelous for words too wonderful for comprehension too wonderful for comprehension like nothing ever like seen or heard ever seen or heard who can grasp your infinite wisdom who can grasp your infinite wisdom who can fathom the depth who of your love the depths of your love you are beautiful you are beautiful beyond description majesty and throne above majesty and throne above you are beautiful lord beyond you description are beautiful beyond description too marvelous for words too marvelous mighty works oh lord on the cross words. no one can describe oh lord is beyond wonderful beyond comprehension, comprehension like nothing ever seen or heard like what you did for us on the cross Who can grasp 
your infinite wisdom. Who can fathom the depth of your love? The depths of your love. You are beautiful beyond description. Majesty enthroned above. You are beautiful. Beyond description. Too marvelous for words. Too marvelous for words. Too wonderful for comprehension. Too wonderful for comprehension. Like nothing ever seen or heard. Who can grasp your infinite wisdom? Who can fathom the depth of your love? You are beautiful beyond description. Majesty and Like nothing ever like seen or heard. Ever seen or heard. Who can grasp Who your can grasp infinite wisdom? Infinite wisdom. Who can Who fathom can the depth fathom of your love? The depths of your love. You are beautiful. You are beautiful beyond description. Majesty enthroned Majesty above. Enthroned yes. And I stand and I stand in awe of you, mighty King. And I stand, I stand in awe of you. I stand, I stand in awe of you. I stand in awe of you. Holy God, Holy God, to whom all praise is due. All praise is due. I stand in awe of you. I stand in awe of you, Lord. And I stand, I stand in awe of you. Tell the Lord, I stand, I stand in awe of you, Lord. The victory, the battle that you won for us, O oh Lord. Holy God, to whom all praise is due. Every praise is due to you, Lord. I stand in awe of you. Looking at your love, O oh Lord. Looking at your compassion, O oh Lord, looking at your forgiveness, O oh Lord. I thank you that you came in search of us, O oh Lord. Thank you. Yes, Lord, I stand, I stand in awe of you. Holy God, to whom all praise is due. I stand in awe of you. I stand, I stand in awe of you. And I stand, I stand in awe of you. I stand, I stand in awe of you. I stand in awe of you. Holy God, to Holy God, to all praise is due. I stand in awe of you. Come on, come on. One last time. And I stand, I stand in all of you. I stand, I stand in all of you. Holy God, Holy to God, whom all praise is due. All praise is due. I stand.
thank you heavenly father into your hand i commit again with all i am for you lord it is you who hold my world in the palm of your hand and i am yours forever lord jesus i believe in you i commit again with all i am for you lord you hold my world in the palm of your hand and i am yours forever come on one more time into your hand i commit again with all i am for you my lord you hold my world in the palm of your hand and i am yours forever lord yes lord jesus into your hand i commit again with all i am for you my lord jesus you hold my world in the palm of your hand and i am yours forever come on one more time into your hand i commit again i commit again with all i am for you oh lord you hold my world in the palm of your hand and i am yours forever jesus i believe jesus i belong to you come on jesus i believe in you jesus i belong to you you are the reason that i live the reason that i see with all i am jesus i believe in you jesus i belong to you come on thank you lord in you jesus i belong to you you are the reason that i live the reason that i see with all i am yes lord jesus i believe in you for all that you did for me on the cross and i belong to you and the very reason i live this life is only for you lord the new life that you have given me in you jesus i belong to you the reason i live yes lord the reason that i sing with all i am thank you for this new life oh lord thank you for making me righteous thank you lord for making me a new creation thank you for your love thank you for your spirit oh lord jesus i believe in you jesus i belong to you oh lord only to you oh lord your word in me oh lord the reason that i live the reason that i sing with all i am Yes Lord thank you for this new life that you have given me the life of love the life of forgiving the life of mercy Lord thank you Lord for you have given your life and filled us with your love my friend love is vitally important to us as human beings without love we can lose hope when you don't feel loved or accepted we begin to question 
our own worth. However, knowing how much God loves us and values us completely, completely turns everything around. The mind is more powerful than we realize. Yes, our mindset determines what we do and ultimately the direction of our lives. Thank you Jesus for changing our mindset on your word and that is what happens my friend when we expose ourselves to influences how we think and how we think determines how we feel and how we feel determines our decision and our decisions determine our actions but when we are focused on God's love for us that love yes that agape love gives us hope and makes our life worth living the word of God says I am convinced that nothing can ever separate us from God's love neither death nor life neither angels nor demons neither our fears for today nor our worries about tomorrow not even the powers of hell can separate us from God's love no power in the sky above or in the earth below indeed nothing in all creation will ever be able to separate us from the love of God that is revealed in Christ Jesus our Lord Romans 8 38 and 39 so what we expose ourselves can lead us to either right believing or wrong believing exposing ourselves to God's word reveals that accepting Jesus as a Lord and a Savior makes us righteous yes makes us righteous our righteousness is by faith my friend not by our works so no matter how many mistakes we make fear not fear not that's what the word says in Isaiah 41 10 fear you not for I am with you be not dismayed my friend the Lord is saying my child for I am thy God I will strengthen you yeah I will help you yes I will uphold you with my right hand of my righteousness this was the first scripture I had learnt when I got saved Isaiah 41 10 and this word gave me that assurance that no matter what how bad my past was God had forgiven me God had changed my life from inside out and God began to tell me that he is always there to help me, strengthen me. He will uphold me with his right hand, with, my, with his victorious right hand and show me the path of life. Studying the scriptures to develop a relationship with Christ allows the Lord to work in our lives like no one else can. Feelings like we are not valued can lead to self-hatred, low esteem and negative self-image. However, no matter how poorly we may think of ourselves, God's relentless love is always there for us. It is completely unlike the conditional love found in the world. Yes, even when we are running from Him, His love actively pursues us, embraces us and refuses to let us go. My friend, for he, God himself has said, I will not in any way fail you, nor give you up or leave you without support. I will not, I will not, I will not in any degree leave you helpless, nor forsake, nor let you down, relax on my hold on you be confident thank you Jesus I walk with you wherever you go 
through tears and joy i'll trust in you i will live in all of your ways your promises forever yes lord i will walk with you wherever you go yes wherever you go through tears and joy i will trust in you and i will live in all of your ways your promises forever thank you for your promises oh lord thank you for your grace oh lord thank you for the faith that you have given i will walk with you lord wherever you go through tears and joy i trust in you jesus i will live in all of your ways oh mighty holy spirit thank you for your promises forever come on one more time i will walk with you lord tell the lord wherever you go through tears and joy i'll trust in you i will live in all of your ways your promises forever oh yes jesus i believe in you jesus i belong to you you are the reason that i live in you jesus i belong to you you are the reason you are the reason that i see Oh yes Jesus I believe in you Jesus I belong to you You are the reason that I live You are the reason that I sing with all I am Too many people think God hates them this belief affects not only how they think but how they live their lives not only god loves them he is love that's what the word says he is love and he loves you so let's tell him again jesus i belong to you in you jesus i belong you lord you are the reason that i live the reason that i sing with all i am come on again jesus i believe in you jesus i belong to you You are the reason that I live the reason that I see with all I am Yes Jesus I believe in you Jesus I belong to you You are the reason that I live You are the reason that I sing Thank you Jesus Yes my friend everyone has an inborn need to be loved and especially when you're going through something we are strengthened and comforted knowing someone loves us and he is on our side during the struggle when we realize that someone is god god himself and his love for us is eternal His love for us is unconditional. We find even more hope and more encouragement. We are made in his image 
and we are always on his mind some of us are so amazed at god's power might and sovereignty we forget his other side he is indeed strong and just but he also loves us with a love so great we can't fully comprehend it god is love my friend when we feel small and insignificant he tells us just the opposite when i consider your heaven so lord the works of your fingers the moon and the stars which you have set in place what is mankind that you are mindful of them human beings that you care for them thank you lord thank you thank you lord jesus you want us to spend eternity with you and you with us so accepting jesus christ as a lord god and savior makes a heavenly father a heaven a final destination so come on let's sing it yes lord i will worship you i will worship you lord i will worship you i am adopted in the family i will worship you yes lord i will worship you i will worship you thank you jesus i will worship you when the world tells us that god does not love us or is angry with us for some mistake we made we know the message isn't from him the truth is that he wants the best for us and that's what the word says for i know the thoughts that i think towards you says the lord thoughts of peace and not of evil to give you a future and a hope jeremiah 29:11 The world sees God as he was in the Old Testament, a God who punished and cursed people. Jesus is death and resurrection change all that. God is no longer angry. Listen. I have received a command to bless. God has blessed and I cannot reverse it. Numbers 23:20. Every curse has been removed and replaced with blessings. Therefore no curse can attach itself to those who believe in Christ and what he did for us. Thank you Lord. Thank you Lord. We are priceless to God. He is constantly watching over us and there's nothing he won't do to keep us from harm. When trouble hits us, we need have we never have to to worry. that he'll forget about us that's what jesus said are not five sparrows sold for two farthings and not one of them is forgotten before god my friend jesus said even the very hair of your head are all numbered fear not therefore you are of more value than many sparrows luke 12:6 and 7 we are never 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 alone in the midst of the situation there's no escaping god's love thank you lord our faith in him assures us of this that we cannot be separated and nothing will be able to separate us from the love of god which is in christ jesus our lord So remember God will never let us down and never leave us to struggle along by ourselves this knowledge gives us tremendous advantage over the world thank you lord thank you thank you jesus a personal relationship with others can enrich our lives and make them more enjoyable Spending time with those we care about means a great deal to us. However, many people fail to realize the importance of a relationship with Jesus Christ. Being in Jesus' presence reveals just how much he loves us, how much he adds joy to our lives that no other person can bring. Thank you Lord. 
religion tells us that a personal relationship with Christ isn't enough for salvation and that we must add something to it by performing good works. This is wrong thinking. If we have been born again, we have become God's children with whom He wants constant companionship, constant relationship. Let me say that again. My friend, if you are born again and we have become God's children, God wants to have constant companionship, not your good works. However, without Jesus, we are nothing. Jesus said, I am the true wine and my father is the wine dresser. You are already clean because of the word which I have spoken to you. Abide in me and I in you. As the branch cannot bear fruit of itself, unless it abides in the wine, neither can you. Unless you abide in me, Lord, thank you. Thank you, Jesus. You are truly the wine and we are the branches. He who abides in the Lord and we in him bears much fruit. For without you, Lord, we can do nothing. John 15, 1, 3 to 5. We are saved by God's grace, not by anything we do. Our salvation does not depend on our behavior. And we don't become unsaved if we don't bear fruit right away. My friend, when you keep learning the Old Testament laws which says we must do something in an attempt to guarantee our redemption in case grace alone doesn't work Jesus and Jesus alone is quite enough and he said unto me my grace is sufficient for thee for my strength is made perfect in weakness most gladly therefore Will I rather glory in my infirmities than the power of Christ? That the power of Christ may rest upon me. 2 Corinthians 12 9 will walk with you through tears and joy. I will trust in you and I will live in all of your ways. Your promises, Lord, forever. Yes, I will walk with you, Lord, in all of your ways, wherever you go. Wherever you go. Through tears and joy, I'll trust in you. And I will live in all of your ways. Your promises forever. Yes, I will walk with you in your word, led by your spirit, wherever you go, wherever you go, through tears and joy. I will trust in you. I will live in all of your ways. Your promises forever. Wherever you go, through tears and joy, I'll trust in you and I will live in all of your ways. Your promises forever. Yes, Lord, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. And I will worship you, Lord. I will worship you, Lord. I will worship you, Lord. I 
I will worship you. I will worship only you, Lord. Into your hand, I commit again. I commit again with all I am for you, Lord. You hold my world in the palm of your hand, and I am yours forever. Into your hands, I commit again. With all I am for you, Lord, you hold my word in the palm of your hand, and I am yours forever. Into your hand, I commit again. With all I am. For you, Lord, you hold my world in the palm of your hand, and I am yours forever. Into your hand, I commit again with all I am. For you, Lord. You hold my world in the palm of your hand, and I am yours forever. Jesus, I believe in you, Lord. Jesus, I belong to you. In you, Jesus, I belong. You are the reason I live, the reason that I sing, with all I am. Jesus, I believe in you. Jesus, I belong to you. You are the reason that I live, Lord. The reason that I sing in you. Come on, everybody. Jesus, I belong. Yes, Lord, you are the reason that I live. Yes, the reason that I sing. With all I am. Yes, Lord, today the joy, the happiness that is in my life is because I believe in you, Lord. I belong to you. You did it all for me on the cross, Lord. In you. All that you finished on the cross to you, you became my substitute, O oh Lord. Yes, with all I am. Thank you for pouring your love in each one of us, O oh Lord. It is your love that has changed our life, that has made us a different person, a complete new creation. In you, Jesus, I belong to you. You are the reason that I live, the reason that I sing, with all I am. Thank you, Lord Jesus. This is your love, O Lord, that is flowing right in you. Jesus I, Jesus, I belong to you. You are the reason that the I reason live, that I the reason that I sing. In you, Jesus, I belong to you. The reason that I live. The reason that I sing Jesus, 
in you. Jesus, I belong to you. You are the reason that I live, the reason that I sing, with all that I am. Yes, Lord. For a successful relationship is frequent communication. When we regular have conversation with our Heavenly Father, we learn that we are worthy to stand in His presence only because of what Jesus did on the cross. In the Old Testament, sin was barrier between God and man. Jesus' blood sacrifice changed that. For He has made Him to be sin for us who knew no sin, that we might be made the righteousness of God in Him. So Jesus will never abandon us when we face adversity, challenges or hardship. Instead, He bears us up and gives us the strength to persevere. Absolutely nothing can separate us from His love and the commitment He has made to us. Who shall separate us from the love of Christ? Nothing. Thank you Jesus for your love. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. It is a battle of a good fight of faith. Yes, let us fight the good fight of faith. Let us lay hold on eternal life. In the presence of my enemies, I raise a hallelujah. Louder than the unbelief, louder than the unbelief. I raise a hallelujah. I raise a hallelujah. My weapon is a melody. My weapon is a melody. I raise a hallelujah. I raise a hallelujah. Yeah, heaven comes to fight for me. Heaven comes to fight for me. Come on. I raise a hallelujah, everybody. I raise a hallelujah. In the presence of my enemies. In the presence of my enemies. I raise a hallelujah. I raise a hallelujah. Come on. Louder than unbelief. Louder than the unbelief. I raise a hallelujah. My weapon is a melody. My weapon is a melody. Yes, I raise a hallelujah. I raise a hallelujah. Thank you, Abba Father. Heaven comes to fight for me. Heaven comes to fight for me. Come on, everybody, raise your voice and sing. I raise a hallelujah. I raise a hallelujah. When? In the presence of my enemies. In the presence of my enemies. I raise a hallelujah. I raise a hallelujah. When? Louder than the unbelief. Louder than the unbelief. Yes, I raise a hallelujah. I raise a hallelujah. My weapon is a melody. Come on, make a melody noise. I raise a hallelujah. Thank you, Abba Father. Heaven comes to fight for me. Come on, one more time. I raise a hallelujah in the presence of my enemies. Yes, I'm no longer fearful in the presence of my enemies. I raise a hallelujah. Louder than the unbelief. Yes, I'm no longer scared of unbelief. I raise a hallelujah. I raise a hallelujah. My weapon is a melody. My weapon is yes. a melody. I raise a hallelujah. I raise a hallelujah. Heaven. Yes. Heaven comes to fight for me. I'm gonna sing in the middle of the storm. 
Louder and louder. You wanna hear my praise, Lord? Up from the ashes, open our eyes. Death is defeated. Yeah, the King is alive. Oh, wow, 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 wow. Yes, the King is alive. I'm gonna sing. I'm gonna sing in the middle of the tomb. When? Louder and louder. You gonna hear my praises roll. Up from the ashes. Hope will arise. Death is defeated. The king is alive. Thank you, Jesus. I'm gonna sing. When? Louder and louder. What? Up from the ashes. What will arise? Come on, death is defeated. The king is alive. One more time. I'm gonna sing in the middle of the storm. Yes. No more fear, man. The king is alive. Louder and louder. Up from the ashes. Hope will arise. Death is defeated. Thank you, Lord Jesus. The King is alive. Jesus is alive. He's here in the midst. The King of King is here. Jesus is here in the midst. Thank you, Lord. With everything inside of me, with everything inside of me, I raise a hallelujah. I raise a hallelujah. I will watch the darkness flee. I will watch the darkness flee. I raise a hallelujah. I raise a hallelujah. When in the middle of the mystery. I raise a hallelujah. I raise a hallelujah. Fear you lost your hold on me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fear you lost your hold on me. Sing it out. Come on, I raise a hallelujah. I raise a hallelujah. With everything inside of me, Lord. Yeah, With yeah. Everything inside of me. I raise a hallelujah. I will watch the darkness flee right now in the midst of the Lord. I will watch the darkness flee. I raise a hallelujah. <laughs> I raise a hallelujah. In the middle of the mystery. In the middle of the mystery. I raise a hallelujah. I raise a hallelujah. Declare. Fear you lost your hold on me. I raise a hallelujah. Come on. I raise a hallelujah. With everything inside of me. With everything inside of me. I raise a hallelujah. I raise a hallelujah. I'll watch the darkness flee. I will watch the darkness flee. I'll raise a hallelujah. In the middle of the mystery. In the middle of the mystery. I raise a hallelujah. I raise a hallelujah. Fear you lost your hold on me forever. Fear you lost your hold on me. Thank you, Lord Jesus. I raise a hallelujah. With everything inside of me. With everything inside of me. I raise a hallelujah. I will watch the darkness flee. Yes, it's happening right now. I raise a hallelujah. I raise a hallelujah. In the middle of the mystery. In the middle of the mystery. I raise a hallelujah. I raise a hallelujah. Fear you lost your
your hold on me. I'm gonna sing in the middle. In the middle of the storm. Louder and louder. What? Up from the ashes. Hope will arise. Death is defeated. The king is alive. Yes, the king is alive, my friend. Jesus is alive. The resurrection power of Jesus is alive. He's alive. He's alive. He's alive. I'm gonna sing. Louder and louder. Up from the ashes. Hope will arise. Death is defeated. Lord Jesus, you are alive. Oh my dear Holy Spirit, you are in the midst. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Abba Father. Thank you, Lord, the Holy Trinity. I'm gonna sing. When? In the middle of the storm. Louder and louder. You're gonna hear my praises, you know. Up from the ashes. Hope will arise. Death is defeated, yes. The King. The King. The King is alive. The King is alive. Jesus is alive. My friend, Jesus is alive. He's touching you right now. I'm gonna sing. I'm gonna sing. I'm gonna sing. Louder and louder. You're gonna hear my praise is low. Up from the ashes. Hope will arise. Death is defeated. The king is alive. Yes, the king is alive. Oh yes, the king is alive. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. My friend, the king is alive. And the king has anointed. And St. Paul is saying in 1 Timothy 6.12 Fight the good fight of faith. Lay hold on eternal life to which you were also called and have confessed the good confession in the presence of many witnesses. Paul was again in prison in Rome and these were Paul's last words in his letter. My friend, the Lord is giving us deep revelation. He is alive. We don't fight the devil. We resist him by fighting the good fight of faith. What is this good fight of faith? This good fight of faith is when we have the knowledge of God's word because we can't have faith beyond a knowledge of God's word. We see many starting this journey as a Christian and it seems very easy in the beginning but finishing is not particularly we are living in a world that is hostile to God and his people remember my friend the Christian life is a marathon and not a sprint let me repeat that again the Christian life is a marathon not a sprint Take note of those who can sprint to the finishing line after a lifetime stand. We can't fight when we are running on empty. That's when we can become a victim. Why does Paul refer it as a good fight? Because Paul did not rely on his own strength or ability. He relied totally on God. Jesus is alive. The King is alive. So when we are weak, that's what Paul said in 2 Corinthians 12.10. When he was weak, then he was strong. God's strength is perfected in our weaknesses. 
A good fight is always linked to faith in God and His Word. Thank you, Jesus. In Acts 9.15 But the Lord said to him, And as, Go, for he is a chosen vessel of mine, to bear my name before Gentiles, kings, and the children of Israel. For I will show him how much he must suffer for my name's sake. Yes, God. Mark 4.17 says, Affliction or persecution arises for the word's sake. The word did not get down in the heart or take root. That means the endurance is only for a little while. And those are the seeds that fell along the rocky ground. And that's what the word of God says. We got to learn to build up our spiritual muscles. The Apostle Paul proved road tested the new covenant of grace. He exchanged religion for righteousness, that is, right standing with God. Paul's ministry was afflicted and buffeted because of his witness of the word of God. But out of them all, the Lord delivered him. 2 Timothy 3.11 Satan comes to steal first the word of God. Thank you, Jesus. In Mark 4, 15 and John 10, 10, the sower sows the word and Satan comes immediately to take away the word that was sown in their hearts. 2 Corinthians 10, 3 to 5, for though we walk in the flesh, we do not war after the flesh. For the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but mighty through God, to the pulling down of strongholds casting down imaginations, reasoning and every high thing that exalts itself against the knowledge of God and bringing into captivity every, every thought to the obedience of Christ. Thank you Lord Jesus for your weapons, the divine weapons that you have given to each one of us. Come on, everybody. Yes, sing a little louder. Sing a little louder, my friend. Come on. Sing a little louder. Sing a little louder. Sing a little louder. Yes, yeah, sing a little louder. Sing a little louder. In the presence of my enemies. Sing a little louder. Louder than the unbelief. My weapon is the melody. Heaven comes to fight for me. Come on, everybody, sing a little louder in the presence of my enemies. Louder than the unbelief. My weapon is a melody. Heaven comes to fight for me. Sing a little louder. In the presence of my enemies. Louder than the unbelief. My weapon is a melody. Heaven comes to fight for me. In the presence of my enemies Louder than the unbelief My weapon is a melody Heaven comes to fight for me Come on, one more time, sing a little louder In the presence of my enemies A little louder. louder. My is a Sing a little louder. 
sing a little louder sing a little louder come on sing a little louder come on sing a little louder heaven comes to fight for me louder and louder up from the ashes hope will arise that is defeated the king is alive i'm gonna sing louder and louder from the ashes that is defeated i'm gonna sing come on i'm gonna sing louder and louder up from the ashes that is defeated the king is alive the king is alive the king is alive the king is alive Ephesians 6 10 to 12 says a final word be strong in the lord and in his mighty power put on all of god's armor so that you will be able to stand firm against all strategies of the devil for we are not fighting against flesh and blood enemies but against evil rulers and authorities of the unseen world against mighty power in this dark world and against evil spirits in the heavenly places the secret to successful combat against satan is to retaliate in the spirit and not in the natural understanding the authority of the believer we should understand and believe that we are seated in high places in Christ Jesus Ephesians 2:6 all power and authority has been given to us Matthew 28:18 authority is transferred and carried out by words the word allows us to see ourselves the way god sees us he sees us overcome us the word presents an image on the inside who we are in christ the authority of the believer is to be used on earth and not in heaven it is for the year and now we are here to enforce the devil's defeat not the other way round remember understanding our redemption is the key to victory our debt has been paid and we have been declared not guilty no one can ever condemn us again including the devil A good soldier knows the strengths and the weaknesses of his enemy so they can be exploited. Anyone that has a bible has the truth but not everyone that a, that has a bible knows the truth. Let me repeat that again. Anyone that has a bible has the truth. but not everyone that has a bible knows the truth Ephesians 6:13 therefore put on every piece of god's armor so you will be able to resist the enemy in the time of evil then after the battle you will be standing firm 
Jesus' response to Satan in the wilderness, Matthew 4.4. 4. Jesus knew who he was. He had no doubts about his identity. He did not get into a debate or discussion with the devil. He could have responded the same way what God had said. His response? It is written, the authority was in the word. Jesus wasn't fighting. He was resisting temptation with the word of God. And we must do likewise. Only the living word can take the place of Jesus today. Jesus' response to the death of John the Baptist, Matthew 14, 13 to 14. Jesus responded with love, not hate. Matthew 5, 44. Love your enemies. Bless those who curse you. Do good to those who hate you. And pray for those who persecute you. He did not seek revenge. Vengeance is the Lord's. Romans 12, 19. Jesus was moved with compassion and healed the multitudes. Faith works by love. Galatians 5, 6. There is no law against love. Galatians 5, 23. How Paul and Silas <coughs> How Paul and Silas responded in prison Acts 16, 25-34 Paul was moved by a night vigil to go to Macedonia and preach the gospel. Paul stirred up the demonic realm at Philippi by casting out a spirit of divination from a girl. Paul was grieved, highly troubled. Paul spoke to the spirit, not the girl. She was used by her masters to make money for them. As a result, Paul and Silas were arrested, beaten and thrown into the prison. Outward circumstances can cause us to question God's leading and timing. Paul obeyed the leading of the spirit and ended up beaten and imprisoned. They responded in the spirit through prayer and praise to God. The faith response is unreasonable. Rejoice in the Lord always. And again I say rejoice. Philippians 4.4 4. But look at the result. An entire family was wonderfully saved. Praise the Lord. I raise an alleluia. Louder than the unbelief. I raise a hallelujah. My weapon is a melody. My weapon is a melody. I raise a hallelujah. I raise a hallelujah. Heaven comes to fight for me. Heaven comes to fight yes. For me. Thank you, Lord. I raise a hallelujah. I raise a hallelujah. In the presence of my enemies. I raise a hallelujah. I raise a hallelujah. Come on. Louder than the unbelief. Louder than the unbelief. I raise a hallelujah. I raise a hallelujah. My weapon is a melody. My weapon is a melody. I raise a hallelujah. Heaven comes to fight for me. Heaven comes to fight for me. Yeah. Come on. I raise a hallelujah, everybody. I raise a hallelujah. In the presence of my enemies. In the presence of my enemies. I raise a hallelujah. I raise a hallelujah. Come on. Louder than Louder unbelief. Than I raise a hallelujah. Raise a hallelujah. My, weapon My weapon is a melody. Yes, I raise a hallelujah. Raise a hallelujah. 
Thank you, Abba Father. Heaven comes to fight for me. Come on, everybody, raise your voice and sing. I raise a hallelujah. When? In the presence of my enemies. I raise a hallelujah. When? Louder than the unbelief. Yes, I raise a hallelujah. My weapon is a melody. Come on, make a melody noise. I raise a hallelujah. Thank you, Abba Father. Heaven comes to fight for me. I'm gonna sing in the middle of the storm. Louder and louder. You gonna hear my praise. Up from the ashes. Hope will arise. Death is defeated. Yeah, the king is alive. Oh, wow, 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 wow. Yes, the king is alive. I'm gonna sing, I'm gonna sing in the middle of the tomb. When? Louder and louder. You gotta hear my praises, Lord. Up from the ashes, hope will arise. Death is defeated. The king is alive. Thank you, Jesus. I'm gonna sing. When? Louder and louder. What? Up from the ashes. What will arise? Come on, death is defeated. The king is alive. One more time. I'm gonna sing in the middle of the storm. Yes. No more fear, man. The king is alive. Louder and louder. Up from the ashes. Hope will arise. Death is defeated. Thank you, Lord Jesus. The king is alive. Jesus is alive. He's here in the midst. The king of kings is here. Jesus is here in the midst. Thank you, Lord. With everything inside of me, I raise a hallelujah. I will watch the darkness flee. I raise a hallelujah. When? In the middle of the mystery. I raise a hallelujah. Fear you lost your hold on me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on, I raise a hallelujah. With everything inside of me, Lord. Yeah, yeah. I raise a hallelujah. I will watch the darkness flee right now in the midst of the Lord. I will raise a hallelujah. <laughs> in the middle of the mystery. I raise a hallelujah. Fear you lost your hold on me. I'm gonna sing in the middle in the middle of the storm louder and louder what up from the ashes hope will arise death is defeated the king is alive 
Yes, the King is alive, my friend. Jesus is alive. The resurrection power of Jesus is alive. He's alive. He's alive. He's alive. He's alive. I'm gonna sing. <laughs>